Mina. Hey. <laughs> so let's get something set straight right out of the gate, right? I am the greatest streamer of all time. This is a fact. <laughs> and the reason that the last Majora's Mask stream was not actually streamed is simply because the world is trying to hold me back. <laughs> because I am too powerful. It's definitely not because my brain is now nourished, uh, excuse me, uh, malnourished on brain functioning juice or whatever the hell goes on up there. Uh, with that said, there was a phantom part 10, we'll call it, right? Um, that I streamed last night for three hours where we collected some heart pieces. Luckily, we didn't do, <laughs> luckily, we didn't actually do much of any importance, right? So here's what we got. We got up to 18, uh, 17 arts, excuse me, as you can see in the top left there. Uh, and we got the All Knights Mask. That's pretty much it. How we got those 18 hearts, I have a list right here that I was reading off in that Phantom stream yesterday. Yes, exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see what I did. I I did the Bowmany game again. Uh, I went to the graveyard at night two. Uh, again, nothing too eventful, nothing too lore heavy, as it were. So we're safe to go on that. We didn't miss anything too important, thank God. <laughs> In fact, I was going to do the Andrew Cafe quest last night, hence the original title, but it ended up <laughs> I ended up screwing it up. But it ended up being a blessing in disguise I screwed up, because now I can save that and the final boss for the finale today. So, I'm pretty happy about that. We're only missing three more masks, and I shit you not, they are all acquired in this final quest. So, that, that's how long the quest is. So we're gonna do that today. Um... Oh yeah, we also got the giant swat from doing the skull to the house on the first night again. We already did. I already did the skull to the house on the stream, so again, I don't feel too bad about that. But if you do on the first day, you get a giant swat which can hold 500 rupees, and that's the only way you can get the all knights mask. Is because if you save the bomb lady and have 500 rupees on the final night, you can buy the all knights mask. And we're gonna use this to learn some more, which I hope we can do on the same day as the Anju Cafe quest. I think according to my beautiful list here, we can. Right? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, on the second day and first day, we can talk to the grandma. Okay. I don't think that should screw up the Anju Cafe quest. I hope it doesn't. It should not. It could not possibly. Yeah, I just don't believe it. The world is not that unkind to me. <laughs> um, there's also something else I want to do. Like, there's a couple... Basically, we're not going to get every heart piece. I was planning to, but I'd have to grind to, for 5,000 rupees, uh, which... I'll show how to do it, because I w showed how to do it last night on stream, but then I screwed up, so I didn't record it, <laughs> so um, I guess I'll show it again, but it's just an annoying process. There's a bird that drops 200 rupees outside, and you have to respawn them every time, and it's just, it's not fun, <laughs> um, and I don't really feel like doing it all for one piece of heart. I will, however, do everything that I feel is cool that's left to show off in this game. That being the Anju and Cafe quest, which we will definitely do. Uh, what else? The... Uh, uh, and, and talking to the grandma, because the grandma, now that we have the All Knights mask, we can talk to her and we won't fall asleep from her stories. Uh, which is a bit weird. <laughs> but, you know, that's just how it is. And because of that as well will get some important deep lore about the uh, a certain character in this game that we actually don't know that much about. Also, there's also one last thing I need to do, and it's uh, show you guys what happens when you look at Skull Kid on the third day. Because I haven't done that yet either. And it's pretty creepy, so I'd like to show that off as well. Alright, so we're just doing the usual round uh, cycle start uh, things here. So... Uh, you know, get the 200 rupees. Uh, don't. Last time, I should have to say this. Let's, let's... So, this code is random for every single playthrough, right? So, this is the last time I'll probably have to remember this code specifically. Let's see if I remember. I believe it's 2, 3, uh, 5, 1, 4. Right? Boom. I am a genius. 
my brain is ever expanding. Okay. Uh, yeah, so like there are two more bottles I could get in this game, but I'd have to do at least one more cycle to get one of the bottles and, and the, all the masks, and I'd rather just get all the masks. And I think there's also a couple of heart pieces I'm forgetting, uh, even if I did decide to get all of them today, that I'm not sure what I'm missing. Um, because I did like the math of how many heart pieces I know I have left uh, in the following quest, and it just doesn't add up. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see when we get there. We'll just kind of play it by ear, honestly. I'll just do the Andrew and Cafe quest and see how much I can. I still want to show off before the quest uh, ends, right? Uh, and worst case scenario, we'll do one more cycle where I just show off all that stuff with the new masks, and then we'll just go right to the end of the game and it won't take too long. All right, <laughs> with all that out of the way. Let's get this other 200 rupees. I'm only getting these rupees uh, just because we're going to need it for an item I want to get uh, that will make the rest of the night significantly less troublesome. And that being the Chateau Romani, which is since we can access the bar at 11 p.m. now, we can actually get it, which is nice. And what that will do, well, you'll see, but it's, it's pretty, pretty freaking neato. In fact, I probably should have gotten it before I did the Stone Tower Temple, but I just forgot, honestly. So, that's the way it is. Oh, man. I'm going to miss uh, playing this game every night, though. For real, for real. This game is baller. All right. Uh, what else we got here? So, yeah, I think we just want to wait until... Actually, we're, I think we're going to... Uh, free up the flow of time here because we have to wait till 1 p.m. I think it is right yeah 1 50 p.m. to talk to Anju uh, so actually wait no I don't have to wait till 1 50 p.m. to talk to Anju uh, with the cafe mask I have to wait till 1 50 p.m. to talk to her uh, with just uh, with no mask so I can get the room key but honestly, I don't really need the room key. It's just something that would be nice to have. It makes the quest a bit easier. But you know what? I didn't get to show it off last time because that, that, screen, that stream got yeeted out of existence. So um, I guess I'll show it off this time, right? So we have to kill a couple hours. Uh, I guess I'll show what you do to farm, right? Uh, that's what a lot of this day is going to be. It's going to be killing some time. So let's see here. Um, I believe... If you Let's see, I went the wrong way again. Damn it! Oh, you know what else I'll do for funsies? Actually, uh, this is about the grind anyway, and I'm gonna have extra money. I'm gonna—I never showed off this area. This is the lottery. <laughs> so how the lottery works is you put in a random set of numbers for ten rupees, and you might win fifty rupees at the end of the day. So let's go one, zero, eight. So yeah, they don't open now until 11 o'clock tonight. So we'll come back and check at 11 for funsies. Do, do, do. All right. The one thing I have to make sure I don't do tonight is save the grandma. So one thing I realized uh, while trying to do like a super dense build cycle last night uh, was that if you try to save the grandma, you actually cannot complete the Anjou Cafe quest because of a certain reason we'll get to. And I was like, damn it. That's And that's why I did that screwed me up. Because I tried to uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, save the grandma and do the Anjou Cafe quest in the same thing. So that was my bad. And I think... I'm, I'm actually curious. Um, I might end up screwing up this quest again. I hope not. But I... All right, so you see this bird here? Uh, this bird... Sorry, I'll, I'll remember... I'll continue that thought in a second. I just want to talk about this bird real quick. This stupid bird. This is what you what drops 200 rupees if you kill it, and it's what's good for grinding to the 5,000 rupee uh, bank account. And as you can see, he just stole a bunch of my rupees just there just from touching me. Uh, and he's a pain. I hate him. I hate him so much. There. <sighs> um, just because he can't just... He can take your rupees, yes, right? 
but he actually could take more than that. If he really wants to, he can actually take the sword that you're carrying, and then you have to buy it back from the curiosity shop at 11 p.m. And it happened to me on the stream that got yeeted. So that was really fun. But yeah, this is how you grind. You just kill him for 200 rupees. Uh, and then... <laughs> and then uh, you spawn him again, and then you kill him again, and you spawn him again, and you just grind it. It's really not fun, honestly. But it's what you gotta do if you wanna uh, get that rupee count up as fast as possible. It's almost 9 p.m. or a.m. Excuse me. All right, he's dead. And the worst part is, like, he only drops 200 at a time, right? But your rupee, uh, rupee wallet maxes out at 500. So, technically, you can get, to max out your rupees, you get, you get, uh, three. Uh, at a, you can get, like, three kills, and then go back to Clock Town, deposit into the bank account. And then you have to run back out here and do that again three, uh, three times. Go back, deposit your bank account, and that you're usually typically around like 2,000 rupees by the time you start grinding. So that means like a minimum you have to get uh, 3,000 more rupees. So you get 500 at a time. That means you have to do it a minimum like six times, and it's really annoying. <laughs> it's I think I did the math right on that. But... All right. Uh, deposit this. Yes, sir. Oh, the other thing that we did, we used the Donjero mask, which is the frog mask, this one. Uh, I went and found all the frogs. I already showed off where all the frogs were at some point during the past streams. Uh, but if you go and talk to them all uh, and then and then unfreeze uh, the snow mountain by defeating goat again, uh, you get a heart piece and you, and you do a little musical number. The music sucks. <laughs> so you're not missing out much, honestly. All right, it's 10 a.m. I can do one more round of killing on this stupid bird. What's my bank account at again? Uh, just wanna see. We're at 3,500, okay. Um, so we have to do it, what, like, three more times? Three more runs, not even just three more, um, whichever calls it's, uh, three more kills. So, <laughs> six more kills. Oy vey, or nine more kills. This is why I didn't, I, like, I, I don't really have anything else left to do on stream, honestly, so I guess I might as well do this, right? This is the biggest problem with this game, for, for sure. Um, when you, and something the 3DS version made slightly better, it's just when you have to just wait for a time to pass, it's just such a pain. But it's just the way it is. Alright, get it back up here, your bird. Oh my god. He took my gilded sword! <sighs> this is... I hate this. I hate this so much. I, I'd rather... I think it's, instead of grinding this, I would rather just sit there. <laughs> I'd rather just sit there in front of Anju Cafe. It would honestly be more entertaining to me. By the way, we can't get that sword back now until, what, 11 p.m.? Or 10 p.m.? 10 p.m. Yep. Cool. Cool. All right, well, we'll put a pin in that, I guess. We're just gonna have to use this sword exclusively. Because, yeah, our gilded sword got captured. <laughs> that stupid bird. Ah, mo. Whatever. Let's go back to the stockpot in. Finally get this quest started. Get the ball rolling. You know, since we still have another, um, hour to kill, uh, in-game hour, of course, uh, let's go see this cutscene again, because we haven't seen it in a while, right? What, uh, this conversation between the townsfolk and the people. We haven't seen it, uh, again since the beginning of the stream, and now we have a bit more context for it, I think. Most of the townsfolk have already taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and... Uh, carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Um, well... You cowards, do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused townsfolk simply cannot cause the panic by believing this ridiculous groundless theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but the outside town uh, walls is where the danger is. 
You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be canceled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Um, well... Are you serious, Muto? It seems that the giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists, so why is the town empty? Clearly, it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's, but that's if the people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and the soldiers into this. <laughs> if the soldiers wish to run, then run, Viskin. We councilmen will stick to tradition. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Aroma would surely, Aroma, excuse me, would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor Dotor? Let's not bring my wife into this. Ta-da! I've talked to you either. What's up, girl? Welcome. Do you have some business? The room on the left is Mr. Mayor's. It sounds like they're having some kind of meeting, I think. The room on your right is the drawing room. It's also Madame Aroma's office. Yeah, we've already been to that, though. So, yeah, I guess I... Did I never actually... Because that was never added to my notebook. I don't think I ever talked to him after getting the notebook. Is what happened. Yeah. As you can see, he's always having some issues. <laughs> uh, so, the... These two characters should come into play, I think, near the end, maybe? We'll see. Okay, next, it's almost one o'clock, so we should be able to talk to Anju. She should almost be at work. She'll be making her way behind the desk soon, at least. Oh, Anju. Oh, I can hear her coming. It's interesting that you can actually wait. For, you have to, like, actually see NPCs come and complete their schedule. It's really cool how that happens, I think. Look, yeah, there she is. She was cut. She guess she came in down from her room up there. Now she's going to work. It's, it's still, like, genuinely really impressive to me how everyone has, like, their schedules like this. Like, all the NPCs and stuff like that. And you can bear witness to them. And if you're there for certain circumstances, you actually can... Uh, bear witness to conversations. It's great. Welcome to Stockpot Inn. Um, did you have a reservation? Yes. You do have a reservation. That's good. Mr. Billy, is it? One moment, please. Mr. Billy, I have you down for an afternoon arrival. Your room is our knife chamber on the second floor. Here is your key. So, this is the room key. All it allows you to do is just enter the Stockpot Inn no matter what time it is. Um, you're not sure why, but you apparently had a reservation. The reason I turned into Goron for this, uh, by the way, is because it's actually a Goron who is also under the name Billy. <laughs> and uh, you basically just stole his room key. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that's how it is. Uh, let's see here. I want to put on this mask. Oh, it's, see, 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 these two NPCs are going to have a scripted conversation. Since you're here for it, you can actually can listen into it. Like so. Ah, uh, um, what is this? I have delivered this to you. Uh, wait. This letter, where did you... Yeah. From the post box. Th that's not what I mean. From the post box where? Yeah. From the post box somewhere. <laughs> that's not what I mean. He's not allowed to disp uh, dispose information. Alright, we're gonna wait for him to leave. Then we're gonna talk to her. You're also looking for Cafe? I have a request. Cafe, I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11.30, please come to our kitchen. We'll talk then. All right, so now we have to meet her at the kitchen at 11.30 p.m. <clears throat> so, uh, not much else to do today, <laughs> um, unfortunately. So I guess what we'll do is... Oh, you know what? I know what we can do. We can talk to the grandma with the All Nights mask. Hey, that's why I got this thing. <laughs> we also can go um, uh, see what's in our room with the knife chamber, as it's called. Quality English dub voice acting at your service. <laughs> I believe, uh... Yes, this is the room that we acquire, uh, because we stole it from Billy, I believe. <laughs> the other Billy. Not the true Billy or Link, what have you. Alright, so that just gives you a free 100 rupees. Um, I don't think he's in here tonight, right? 
Oh yeah, he's not. I was wondering if a certain character was there or not, but yeah, he's not. So let's go into, can we go into this room? No, it's employees only. I'm trying to go, where's the grandma again? Is she back here, maybe? She's in one of these rooms. Here she is. All right, so let's put on the all night mask. And as you can see from this mask, it's kind of freaky. Uh, it's basically like something just peeling your eyes open and keeping them open. It's really just messed up. Oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping father? Let mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? See, the carnival of time will make two hours pass and the four giants will make will last until the morning. Um, and if you talk to her normally, you won't actually be able to hear these stories. You'll just fall asleep and wake up at that time point in time. Um, but we don't want to do that, obviously. So, <clears throat> what's nice is um, we'll, we have time to listen to Carnival Time. We don't have time to listen to Four Giants right now, but we will eventually. So, uh, at some point during this cycle, when we have to make time pass. Luckily, the Four Giants, you see how it says till morning. It will be till morning, regardless of what point in time you're at so say you're like like uh for example 5 a.m fun, fun related gaming fact you can buy andrew's shirt in the original animal crossing really huh i didn't know that actually that's a fun gaming fact gaming fact man so anyway yeah so um we're gonna save four giants for later but we will read the carnival of time now the carnival of time is it the carnival is almost here so it's good for you to learn its meaning it's a little long but i'll read it with some enthusiasm <clears throat> The carnival of time each year, the, se the season of harmony begins with when the sun and the moon are in alignment. <laughs> I mean, listen, maybe it's just a really long story. No, yeah, she's, she's, just, she's just an old, old lady. Paying homage to the way that both nature and time are tirelessly in the process of progressing. The carnival of time is when the people of the four worlds celebrate that harmony and request fruitfulness for the year. For ages, people have worn masks resembling the giants who are the gods of the four worlds. Now it has become a custom for each person to bring a handmade mask to the carnival of time. It is said that if a couple united on the day of the festival and a dedicated mask as a sign of their union, it would bring luck. Uh, both. I can only imagine anyway. It's kind of like Jodoro's hat. Is it? Which, where's the hair and the hat end? It's just both. The centerpiece of the carnival is the clock tower, and on the eve of all the festivals, the doors of, the, of its roof are opened. From atop the clock tower roof, a ceremony to call the gods is held, and an ancient song is sung. All of these festivals for the carnival of time are held so that we may ask the gods for a rich harvest in a year to come. You did a good job! That's all for Tortoise! Now, when does the clock tower open? Uh, 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 when does clock tower roof open on the eve on the eve of the festival? You did a good job remembering that. That's the only option you gave me. But all right, I'll give you some candy as a prize. This is some pretty fancy ass candy. Nice. All right. <sighs> Still not, still only 6 p.m., so we still have some time to kill until 11.30 p.m. Uh, what can we do? <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. So this is the Billy, by the way, <laughs> uh, if we talk to him. That's a hard world to live in, Goro. <laughs> I feel that, man. Let's talk to him as a Goro. Oh, he's gonna keep saying that. I think he should be sleepy now. He's gonna stay, have some funny dialogue. Yeah, okay, now let's listen to this. The wind has gotten damp, Goro. Tomorrow is rain, Goro. Goro, Goro. So, uh, basically, he, this is the guy who whose room key we took, and he's just stuck living outside now. It's it's it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit sad, but sucks to suck. Also, Luke, uh, you may have noticed, um, I was grinding for the 5,000 rupee bank account thing earlier, and my sword got stolen. Uh, so I'm just gonna skip that. <laughs> I don't feel like grinding with that- fighting that stupid bird 20 times over and over again. So I'm just gonna beat the game with all the masks and not worry about the remaining heart pieces, I don't think. So, what can we do now? Well, um, I don't think there's a way to easily skip to 11 o'clock faster. 
I mean, it's fine. I still have the... I don't really need a sword for until a, a 10 p.m. tonight anyway. Or rather, at any point past 10 p.m., which is... And I have the money for it. And I have this sword, of course, too. So, um, anyway, I don't think there's any faster way to go to 11... 30? So, um, other than talking to Scarecrow. I think the Scarecrow will allow us to move past uh, a couple hours, in, which is all we really need. So, first... Actually, no, no, wait. I don't want to do this. I, I want to talk to him first, because he'll disappear if I make the song. Uh, so, what do you got? Dance till dawn. No, never mind then. Yeah, we just have to kill time. Uh, Alright, in that case, I think it'll be helpful to have the Scarecrow song for the final area. So, let's get that real quick. All right, lads, what should we make the Scarecrow song? I'll let you guys decide it. Do, 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 do. If you don't come up with something good, I'm just going to do the usual I do, which is just left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> I could do uh, Serdia's song, which is the song of healing backwards. So right, right, left, down, right, left, down, I think. Right? Uh... Nope. You did Flintstones? Okay, do you know the notes to Flintstones? <laughs> if so, let me have them. Uh, here, hang on. I'll, I'll, let, me, let me try to practice it before I actually talk to him. This will be a good way to kill time. Oh yeah, it's down, right, left. Down, right, left. That's a serious song. Up, left, left. Down, right, up, left. Yeah, that was definitely wrong. I, I, I think up is right, though. It's like, do, 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 do. Oh, wait, I think I heard it. Hmm. Right down. I don't think left... Left doesn't really sound like a note in the Flimstone song. Maybe I'm wrong, though. A down? Down A? Uh, so... Wait, 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 so what's the full order here? So it's like, do, do. I think, I think upright is definitely the beginning. Uh, or no, it's, um, no. Hmm. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'm just gonna do serious song. <laughs> Flintstones, Flint, Flintstones would have been Kino, though. Alright, uh, uh, it's just. Damn it! Listen, relax. I guess uh, up left right at the end. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice tune, baby, by the way. Yeah, I know you know the song. No, I don't care. All right, he's gone. Well, you are a waste of time. Thanks. <clears throat> well, brothers, uh, <laughs> I could try grinding more rupees, I guess, but I just... I don't want to lose, risk losing this sword, too. It'd just be a pain. Um... What else can I do? I don't want to go show you guys what Skull Kid looks like on the final, uh, until the final day. So I don't want to go to the observatory. Uh... Do I have anything extra on this list? I don't think so. I guess, could I listen to the Carnival of Time one again? <laughs> if I just wanted to kill another two hours? I guess I could, right? What's stopping me? Yeah. It says... Why, why can't I, right? It says who? Oh, I know. Grandma's down this way. Grandma, I want to hear the story one last time. Give it to me straight. Not crooked. Not at an angle. Straight. Aww. Aww. Ah, damn it! I guess I think we're just gonna have to stand here, bros. <laughs> What's she doing? Ah, oh, 
Yeah, no problem, Andrew. Uh, it might be because I, th I think it's because I went and talked to her before the clock town in closed. Maybe if I rather if I had talked to her before the clock town in closed, I would have been in there, but I wasn't. You know, I could grind the much more stale way, which is just going to. Uh... Actually, no. Wait, there's a yeah, there's a red rupee in a. Uh in like the North Clock Town, right? I could just farm that way. And that's how I, that's how I would do it like before I knew about the bird method. And it's significantly less frustrating <laughs> at the very least, right? It's almost 10 p.m. anyway though. I'm just gonna go in front of Curiosity Shop, get my freaking sword back <laughs> and uh, and then we'll head straight to the thing. I could, but honestly, I'm terrible at it. <laughs> I, I, I tried, uh, I, there was this one area in, like, Stone Tower where I tried to do a, uh, a speedrun, uh, sequence break thing, and I just, I'm bad. <laughs> I, I just never practiced it, so I'm just, like, really bad at it. <clears throat> I, dude, I hate when I'm mashing, because I, I don't care about anything this man has to say to me, and then, <laughs> and then I just go right to the... I think this golden sword is going to be like... Oh boy, an extra 4 rupees. I think the golden sword is going to be like over 100, so I'm just breaking out another 100 just in case. Oh, I was thinking of... Oh, I was thinking of like, um, uh... It re requires, um... Whatchamacallit? Uh... The one where you have to do, like, the bomb stuff. Like, the bomb... Backwards bomb jumps. Oh, right! I remember you showed me this when we were little, I think. Uh, how you could uh, side hop near the entrance and then just go right out of bounds. I could do that, but I don't want to screw anything up. The bomb, no bomb nonsense is the right term. Oh, shut up! Just give me my sword back, please. Hey. I think this character might be one of my favorite. Oh, it's only cool. Is that described as cool sword? Oh no, it's a gilded sword. I just can't read. I kid you not. Anyway, I think this guy might secretly be one of my favorite characters in the game, by the way. Because, like, I um, I accidentally walked in on him uh, haggling with the thief one night. And um, I was like, man, this is wild. <laughs> this is this character is super uh, cool, you know? Um, uh, like, because, like, <laughs> he, like, talks, he, he literally does, like, the... $50? What do you want $20 for that sword for? And stuff like that. Or for the bombs for. And he like haggles them down so expertly. It's super cool. Oh, definitely make it the haggling man. Because the haggling man's that guy, Um, as we'll find out soon, he actually has some connections to Cafe. And he has like this whole backstory. It's super rad. Skull Kid's also a baller. Skull Kid's design is just so cool. Like, like... Like, obviously, it wasn't intended, I guess, when it was first made to have uh, Majora's Mask specifically. But it just, it's just so iconic for some reason. Like, the color palette. I guess because it's just green and purple. But never forget that chair in Miyamoto's office. So, yeah, I've learned my lesson. You cannot save Grandma. Otherwise, you cannot do this quest. Um, I, I, on, on the stream that failed, I'll repeat it just in case. Um, no, no one was here for that at the beginning of the stream. Um, on the stream that I recorded and failed to do last night, I didn't know that you couldn't. I forgot rather that you could not save the grandma and do the Andrew Cafe quest in the same cycle. So, uh, grandma be damned. Her bombs are getting stolen tonight. I am sorry to trouble you late night. It's about him, Cafe. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person. But there's absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear to me. Please, here is my letter. Please put this in a post box. When this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Anju is waiting for him. And please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I, I can't go. Can I ask this of you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. You got a letter to cafe. Let's put that crap in the mailbox. Just to put it in the morning. I don't think we act can we not mail it in the in the evening? I actually don't know. Let's find out. I guess not, but eh, you know. Let's find out. 
It doesn't actually matter which mailbox you put in, I don't think, but I always just put it in the one that's closest to where we're supposed to find Cafe, just because it makes me feel more secure. Yeah, yeah. I always, always just put in this one because it's technically closest. It, but but I, I found out last night um, that he, he'll he after he checks this mailbox he he goes and do, uh, does like um, right. It doesn't matter uh, which mailbox you put in because he goes and takes a rest before he actually does the delivery. He does the collection and then the delivery. So uh, that's why it doesn't matter. You're right. You're right. Shh. All right, Grandma. It would be lovely if you would let me talk to you right now. Otherwise, I'll just have to play the song double time, which is fine. But I'd rather get the lore, you know? Maybe she's sleeping. No, tortoise. I mean, I'm tortoise. Uh, Mama tortoise, speak to me. Damn it. All right, that's fine. That would have been perfect, too. Oh, well. <laughs> yes, but I want to do it legit. It's for the sake of immersion. I'll tell you what. Um, I, I, right before the, the the moon crashes, I'll do that. How's that sound? <laughs> I'll just get get back in the cafe's house real quick and then, and then hop right back out using that method. All right. I guess I'll just play the song double time. Because we don't have anything left to do on this day, so... Dawn of the second day. He pro you know, maybe he might not actually spawn like his model until the second day, right? Cause like they, they don't want to waste like memory on having his AI uh, pattern, which is just standing there inside of the house doing nothing. <laughs> um, be a thing. Actually, you know what? That's not true. He comes out and puts a mail in the, in, the, in the mailbox in the morning on the first day, and then he has that delivered to Anju. So yeah, yeah, he probably is actually somewhere in his house, or maybe they, they spawn him. I don't know. All right. Well, now we have to wait for the mailman to do his rounds. Um. So let's see here. Man, it's so cool. All the NPCs have their own schedule. I don't want to talk to you. Leave. Be gone, creature! Be gone from this house! This clock of towns? Alright, whatever. At least we have to listen to this baller as heck, uh, clock town music. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something I can do. Let me look at this list again. Okay, here's the thing. Supposedly, between 6 a.m. to 12 p.m., I can talk to the Gorman brothers, the, the Gorman brother in Sockbot in specifically, wearing the circus leader mask, and he'll want, ask for milkies. Now, last time I tried this on the stream, that failed. Uh, take a drink, uh, take a shot every time I say that, by the way. Uh, he didn't, he didn't say diddly douche. Uh, so let's try it and see if it works this time, maybe. Because we still have a couple hours to kill until the mailman does his rounds. So he should be like, oh, I want the milky. Yeah. Maybe it's like a 3DS only thing I'm thinking of. Because I'm pretty sure how you get one of the the fifth of the six bottles is through that. I know the the, the last bottle you get uh, that we're not going to end up getting because I want to save someone's life instead of getting an empty bottle. Uh, <laughs> um, and I don't feel like doing another cycle, though we'll see. Um... Yeah, anyway, uh, I know you're some that's how you get one of the bottles. You just maybe before he's depressed about being fired? Maybe. But I thought, like, it would make sense if he asked for it after he got depressed, right? Maybe. I, I Was there only five bottles in the original? Because there's a spot for a sixth one. Right? Was there actually only five, though, and they just added that spot for memes? <laughs> I mean, it's entirely possible, but it's just kind of weird if they did. Oh, well, now we wait. I know, I know they did add 
an extra bottle. Oh, so there's a seventh bottle in the remake? Damn! <laughs> I, know, I know they made sure you could get an extra bottle earlier on to make the Pirate's Fortress less miserable, which I very much appreciate that, by the way. That was a, much, that was a genuinely great decision, because doing it with only, like, two or three bottles at best is miserable. But, um... Oh, here comes the mailman! Look at him go! We're just gonna follow him. No one can stop me. I love that little, like, default, like, public access register sound. Oh! I forgot Dompei was even in this game! <laughs> oh! Dude, you just blew my mind when you wrote that! Dompei, right! He's in this game! He's at the graveyard! As always. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess include me in that list. Uh, I also completely forgot about that bottle. What, what, what's the process for that? I honestly forget like everything about that quest. He's probably the other person I'm missing in my notebook, actually. Call Dompei, he's crying. <laughs> He showed you his shovel, answer him. Yeah, this is probably the last person I'm missing then is Dompe. I genuinely forgot he was in this game. I feel so terrible. I can go do that real quick because um, after I talk to a certain, the the person that we're looking for here, um, I don't have much else to do for the rest of the day, I don't think. Well, I have to come back to his house at some point. Rather, I have to come to go into a certain area at some point at night, um, but. Yeah, day, day three, day three. Because I've done day uh, day one, open the grave. I've done day two, open the grave. I haven't done day three yet. I mean, either way, I'm not going to get all the bob bottles, probably. Because um, the last one, you, you get by telling the, letting the postman, this, this poor hero here, die. <laughs> so, and delivering a certain letter yourself. So, um, and depending, if I don't ha have to do another... Uh, cycle to use the lover's mask, then I don't want to uh, bother uh, make, doing another cycle just to get that bottle. But if I have to, I might as well do it, right? Screw it. Might give us a chance to learn about that last piece of lore if I don't have an opportunity to do that either. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's sick, absolutely. <clears throat> I knew about that bottle with the postman. I just did. I was like, "Where the hell is this fifth one?" And I looked it up, and then it, it, it gave me the 3DS one. I guess. <laughs> Look at our man chilling. <laughs> Bless, I'll deliver it perfectly. He's only got the one letter, and it's just the one that we put in. I guess the town is empty. That would explain why there's like basically no one putting any mail anywhere. All right. Luckily, he only sleeps for like an hour. And he's back on that goop. Uh, I guess I don't have to wear this mask at all, then, right? Guess I've got, uh... Let's get this ready. Wake up, Mr. Mailman! Wake up! You know, I, did, I didn't want to... Uh, grind for rupees because I knew it would be miserable to watch, but honestly, this isn't much better. <laughs> Just s stabbing your sword at the air <laughs> while you wait for the mailman to wake up. Okate, okate, okate! Hey! That that's how you say it, wake, uh, uh, wake up in Japanese, right? It's like, okate, okate. Gives us two. No, this, ma this quest gives you three masks. It gives you. Keton, um, the postman mask, and the lover's mask. The postman mask, you, you, ha you, don't you have to make sure you give the postman the letter. That's what you get instead of the bottle, basically. So th th these are the... Th th this uh, Andrew Cafe quest will give me the last three masks I need. <clears throat> and then I'm effectively done the game, because that's the main thing I wanted to do. I wasn't too concerned about the heart pieces. Cause this game's pretty easy anyway, not gonna lie. <laughs> See how he takes this useless route, by the way? 
Like, he said himself there's only one letter, but he's still going the route. He knows where to deliver it. Man's just taking it's too hard himself. He's just so committed to the route, regardless of how valuable that route actually is for this current day. I think the postman's wondering why this kid's just running around with a pair of bunny ears stabbing a sword in him. Threateningly. Menacingly. Teabagging the air next one. Alright. So now we're going to do this to make sure we can easily get in here. Break out the stone mask. <laughs> you guys ever see that one artist depiction of the finale of the Anjun Cafe quest where... Uh, oh, I guess. Yeah, but that uh, nah, doesn't really work. <laughs> then again, it's hard to, it's hard to, for me to imagine me not knowing where Anjun uh, Cafe's house is. This is something I don't think I'll ever forget. But anyway, um, you ever see that one artist's depiction of, like, it's the Anju and Cafe scene, but, like, uh, where they're reunited, but, like, it's a bit heated. <laughs> As in, like, it's starting to get a little steamy, like some SS is going on, and it's Link is just in the background with the stone mask. I think it was drawn by, like, uh, Plague of Rights is the artist's name. It's hysterical. I wonder if they have a, actually have a conversation that I can listen in on. I have a letter for you. No, not much. All right, that's fine. I can't tell you that's confidential. Yeah, yeah. He's like from the post, from the post box. He's like from which post box? From the post box somewhere, etc. All right, let's teabag on his stuff. Alright, we've, success we've successfully asserted dominance. <clears throat> green hat, green clothes. Andre wrote about you in her letter. It seems you are looking for a cafe. Can you keep a secret? Yes, I can. Andre trusted you. I shall also trust you. I am cafe. Bum bum. The cafe we're looking for is an adult. When I look at you, I just see a child. I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask, but I'm not hiding because I look this way. When I was turned into this, I went to see the great fairy in the shrine near the north gate, but on the way, my precious mask, a wedding ceremony mask, was stolen from me by some prancing man with a grinning face. Right, we know who that is, right? <laughs> well, you're just careless. You're like my partner. I, I think Tattle is definitely underrated as a partner as far as zelda games go like you know like usually people when they think of their favorite partner they think of just like minda or like um some people like v god bless them <laughs> but um uh the i i absolutely adore tattle because she has not only does she actually have like an arc that she goes through throughout the whole game her personality is so like distinctly cold <laughs> to like in like these situations and every piece of dialogue is just completely memorable as a result it's so, it's super great before my wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I had been uh, turned into. Oh my, I pity you. See? <laughs> I know Anju is worried, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the wedding mask and greet her. Yeah, she does only really talk at like the beginning and near the end. But whatever she does, it's like gold. Like that conversation that you have with her uh, after you save uh, the Deku princess, it's great. How she keeps going back and forth and she's like and thinking to herself and then like, oh, hey, by the way, you're pretty great, by the way. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it, it's great. This pendant, give it to Anju. You accepted the pendant of memories. Though you may not understand these grown up matters, you should probably take the pendant to Anju anyway. This is all this nerd adult stuff, like, taxes. Also, you did the things that keep it a secret from everybody. Let's talk to him again. Things that get stolen in this town always make their way to the curiosity shop. I'm waiting for that to happen. Stand on that crate and peek into that hole. Alright. From here, I check on the curiosity shop's customers. 
So yeah, you can stand here and uh, if you want, just wait uh, for the man to show up, but he's not gonna show up for a while. And I mean like a while, while. <laughs> so um, all we really need to do, in fact, I forget, do you actually have to confirm uh, that, cause I don't think we actually can get back in his house, right? Unless we clip through, of course. Oh no, no, yeah, it's unlocked. Never mind. Um, cause like the curiosity shop doesn't open till ten. I think it's at like nine thirty when the mysterious man uh shows up and just tries to haggle, right? Um, and I think that happens regardless of it, of if you witness it, right? I'm like ninety percent sure that's the case, but I'm not like a hundred percent sure, so I don't know. Um, I have it written on my notes actually. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you, you, like, all you need to make sure is that you do not save, um, you just need to make sure you don't save the grandma, and then the events will transpire, uh, uh, tap in regardless, and Cafe will end up at a certain location on the final day. That's all you need to know, really. Right? I think I have that right. Please tell me if I'm right or not, because if I am right, I'm going to talk to uh, the grandma and ha hear that final story, right? Because might as well. Oh, you've never seen it happen? Well, now I want to show you it. Because it's actually a really funny conversation. Like, I, I, I only discovered it in this playthrough, but you know, you know if you don't uh, save the grandma uh, that night he'll go and sell the bomb bag right and you can like if you walk into the curiosity shop at uh, right after the man's doing it because he actually walks inside to the curiosity shop uh, at, at like 9 30 and you can hear him haggle it down and it's such a fun conversation because <laughs> like he originally he's like here i'll sell you this for like 200 he's like i'll take it for 100 and he's like i don't even need this i'll take it for 50 <laughs> um i think I, obviously it's the second day so i've already missed it but it's from Cafe. Th th thank you very much. I have decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. Ah, well, now I want to... Well, I also want to... Let me... Let me, uh, let me ask you if you know this, uh, Mr. Wawa Dude. Like, wash him with the thief? Yes, you can, actually. Um, that, that's what I used to always do. In fact, every, every time I would just dedicate um, a single cycle to this quest, I would just sit there and just wait. <laughs> um, and then he'll be like, jackpot! And like, we, we found him, right? Um, I really want to show you that now, but I also want to talk to the grandma. Uh, but the grandma... Mm, what's more important... Let's see if the grandma will even talk to me, firstly. L let me ask you this. Does anyone know... <laughs> does anyone know if you can use the couple's mask on the final day to uh, for the mayor? Because I, I, well, I definitely want to show that scene, but I actually don't know if you can only use it on the first or second day. I think you can use it on the final day, right? But maybe it's not till after I receive it. Let's find out, actually. Because I should be able to just look at the mayor in my notebook. Yeah, you know what? You can you you can't use it uh, on the same day that you got it. Butch, I get the Butch Hartman piece. <laughs> um, so you know what? We we are gonna have to do one more cycle. Then that's fine. That is completely fine. In that case, we're going to uh we're going to go show off that scene with the curiosity shop, and then we're uh we're going to. Let's see here. Uh, and then we're going to go finish off the Andrew Cafe quest. Reset time. Uh, uh, no, get the remaining mass. Reset time. Uh, and then get and then in that final, and then in that final thing, we'll listen to the Carnival of Time story and just go right to the end of the game. I think that sounds fair, right? <clears throat> so yeah, let's just do that then. Okay. Uh, in that case, what should I do to make it, uh, go to, like, because the, the man doesn't show up until, like, 9.30, I don't think, right? 
Uh, so maybe she'll actually tell me... Oops, sorry. Maybe she'll tell me, um... Let's see here. I wonder if she'll let me just listen to the Carnival of Time story again. She probably won't, but I'd like to find out. Uh, uh, you're late. Tomorrow's another day, so good night. We'll read you a story tomorrow. Really? She doesn't actually read stories at night. That's interesting. Well, I was boned either way then. All right. <laughs> that was basically decided for me. Fair enough. Fair enough. <clears throat> so in that case, uh, let's put on the bunny hood and we'll go wait at the curiosity shop. Or maybe, you no, know, maybe, um, what time do you have to uh, actually do the cafe quest? Isn't it not till like 3 p.m. or something like that? I actually don't know. I think his door is locked now, though, right? I'm like 90% sure that's the case. Because I remember going here at night on the previously destroyed stream and there was nothing. It won't let me in. No, no, it's still letting me in. Okay. I don't know why it was locked that one time, then. See if he's still here. He is still here. Hey, there's the curiosity shot, man. Unfortunately, uh, time doesn't move when you're looking through the scope. So you just have to wait. <laughs> Again, I'm, I, I think it's at like somewhere between 8 and 9.30 because the shop opens at 10, right? So we'll check it like every half hour interval. Oh! <laughs> Let's look at Link's idle animations. There we go. Honestly, I think I might like 100% this file like off stream maybe just because the only things I have left to do are just really boring. <laughs> like even that Dompe quest, like I guess I can maybe do the Dompe quest just because I um I have an extra cycle now to do it. Um, and I, that way I, I do want to finish with the completed notebook. But um, as for the like the rest of it, like all I have left to do is like um, I would have to kill off. I would have to do the Anju Cafe quest again just to but just do one thing different near the end, which isn't really exciting. I would have to um, grind for 5,000 rupees, and that's it, really. I just don't want to do that stuff on stream. <laughs> it's, just, it's just boring. <laughs> would I squad stream with Brental Floss? As in, like, with, like... The person, or are you referring to that game that shall not ever be mentioned? Let's just try a 10, maybe. Oh, uh, what? He kicked me out. No, the man. Um. <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean probably get me help me reach a wider audience so i guess he's uh, yeah he's not selling anything yet right Hi. come on in Got nothing to sell unless you want to buy me something nah <laughs> thanks come again so i think we can like spot him running into the town at, i guess it's maybe at like 11 30 or something like that right i know he's supposed to do it tonight Let's see if, um, so is the, is the door to the curiosity shop locked now or something? Or... Rather to Aunt, uh, Cafe's house. Yeah, it's locked now. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, we'll just wait to see, um, until the myth, the legend himself, the thief, the thief, excuse my lazy tongue, uh, shows up. He should show up at the curiosity shop at some point tonight. I believe. <laughs> Pretty sure he does anyway. You know what? We have time to kill anyway, so I'm just gonna look it up. <laughs> I'm like 99% sure he does. Let's find out. Here. 
Uh, let's see here. Ah, oh, there he is! <laughs> I knew he'd show up! Look at him! Look at him go! Alright, you ready to see this? Uh, hey, I'm sorry, I have to, I have to do one last thing. Eh, there we are. So yeah, you, just like with, um, hit Andre talking to Postman, you actually can listen in on this conversation. Let's see if it's as funny as I remember it being. I thought, I was thinking maybe it was Dompe. That, or it might actually, you know, it might- 100. Well, let's, let's listen to this first. Don't be such a rupee pincher, you miser. 200! He's called him a miser! Well, why don't you just offer your- why don't I just offer you even less? And you know, this is the bomb shops. How about if I tell them about- all about you? Alright, fine. I'll take it- I take- I'll take it. But you're guilty, too. Don't be a fool. A seller of stolen goods is just a middleman who's trying to provide his customers with a good product. Look, I know nothing. If it comes to me, I buy it. I'm a charitable organization that helps people in need. I, I understand. Then the total is... It's 50 now, so there you go. <laughs> Stonks! <laughs> what? You said 100! Oh, so you don't want me to take it off your hands? But wait, it's a deal! It's a deal! And so that's how Cafe figures out where the, um... Uh, the thief is, by the way, right? Because he he sees that he, he's going there, and then he falls him all the way back to his hideout. That is the lore explanation. So yeah, I th it's either the thief, because I don't think he's in here, right? Yeah, it's either the thief or Dompe. It could only be those two. I don't know who else it could be, right? I'm telling you, dude, that, that, that cutscene made me fall in love with him. I was like, no, this guy's a boss! <laughs> I love him! So, yeah, what you can do now is you can just follow him back to his home, and then you'll meet Cafe there as well. In fact, let's do that. Why not? Screw it. Got nothing but time to kill, right? Do I have the evil Gorman brothers? What do you mean? Uh... Oh, yeah, do I? Yeah, I do. Here they are. Yeah. That was them, right? That wasn't their non-circus brother? Are they both in here? Or is it- I think it's just the one Gorman brothers, right? Horse trainers. Suspicious. I like- I like to think that's actually Link's note. It's like, these men are suspicious. Hmm. Oh, you can't actually follow him all the way to his base? That's cringe. <laughs> I thought he actually, um, uh, you could actually follow him all the way there. I think what actually happens is that you have to, um... Maybe... <sighs> Do you just have to know where Cafe went? No. <laughs> or is there, does he, like, mention, like, oh, I figured out where he went, you know? Or do you just have to meet him in the canyon or something? Like or you know what? You're probably supposed to figure it out because you know that he's uh, at in, in a, a Kanye Canyon. Uh, you, you can figure out that he's in a Kanye Canyon by yourself uh, by just, like, you know, teleporting uh, when, you, or when you wander around there and you'll see him just ha hanging out at his hideout. So you're probably supposed to just meet uh, Cafe there or something like that just because you're like, oh, I know where his hideout is. I was in Cafe. You'll probably figure it out, too. And that scene is just there for Cafe to figure it out. But his house is still closed, right? It's locked. Yeah, I think what happens here is you go... Yeah, so if you play the sauna double time here, and you try to go to Cafe's house... I remember now. Um... The- I think the curiosity shop salesman should be here, and he'll tell- and he'll tell you about Cafe. And he'll tell you where he went. <clears throat> so let's go do that. Hey, Dawn, the final day. Haven't been here in a while. It's locked, damn it. There's a way to get back in there. 
Soul current full of time. You know what? You know what, Luke? I think it's time. I think it's time we try ourselves a little. Um, how do you do this again? I think you have to uh, be Zora Link, right? And then you just uh, sidestep, right? I forget how, though. <laughs> how do you do this again? <laughs> Remind me? I, I actually don't remember. It's like... I, all I remember is that you had to be Zora Link. That's it. Yeah, you can't use that. Ah, shut up. Wait, where you enter the laundry pool? Okay. Link. Alright, fine. Because I'm pretty sure there is a way to enter there normally, but I don't know how, so... So do you mean, like, before the loading screen? Like, right here? Or... Right at the loading zone, at the right wall, and hop... Right before the loading zone, look at the right wall and hop inwards. Okay. Other side, okay, got it. Look at the right wall and hop inwards. So, this right wall... So, right before the loading zone, look at the right wall and hop inwards. Inwards towards what? Like, this is like the, eh, it's the other wall, but before the bricks. Okay. Ah. Try to make sure I don't activate this loading zone. And then side hop. Oh, I see, I see, I see it. We'll just do this and if we... Uh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, I see it. No! Shoot! Yeah, yeah, because this, uh, this is his height, isn't it? You just, like, go like this. Ah. There we go, got it. <laughs> All right. Easy, easiest, easiest skip in the entire game, baby. Oh, look, we can see the rest of the laundry pool, too. Why is there 20 rupees outside of reach? What the heck is that? How would they do that? Anyway, <laughs> I think there is a legitimate way to get inside this room on the final day, and that's how you talk to the curiosity shop, man. But so what do you do now? You just like... Uh, hide, sidestep down here, I guess, right? Right? Nope. How do you get inside the house, Luke? <laughs> do you not just, like, um, hmm. Gotta side hop and then attack. Okay. This is what you do when you have excess time in this game. You just dick around like this and discover weird crap like this. Gotta hit the loading zone behind the door. Right, that's what I figured. I wish there was like... Uh, I, didn't, I didn't hit it. And away I go. Hmm, tricky. Alright. Huh? Ah, nah. Huh? There we go. So, like, do you have to do a uh, swing uh, towards the zone? Or, like, uh, so, like, when you side hop, do you side hop facing towards, like, the laundry pool? That's, uh, that's what I'm assuming, because that makes more sense, right? But I'm not, sh I'm not certain. I got it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it, it does. Um, uh, like so, like I I I know because it, you're supposed to like go talk to the curiosity shop guy at some point. Like so, uh, here it is. Yeah, I think it, I think it unlocks at that time frame you're seeing. Uh, between it's a 
six. It's an eighteen-hour day. It's split by four, so that's uh, one to four a.m. Uh, yeah, be so between somewhere between. You no, know, it, it starts at six a.m. So it's it's six to. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, anyway, point being, it unlocks at some point, and the, and the curiosity. Then here he is. <laughs> it probably was already unlocked, honestly. Huh? You that green hat kid? I got a message from Cafe. Point is, we did it the cool way. Now, Cafe, I've known him since he was real little. When he showed up, looking, looking all young in that little brat body, I didn't know what I was seeing. All it took was that one glance at that keton mask he was carrying for me to realize that I was looking at my old friend. I gave him that mask a long time ago when he was just a little cafe. Didn't know he kept that kept it that well for so long. I'm not sure why, but I want to give this to you. You got the Keton mask. This is Cafe's mask of memories. Accepting this keepsake doesn't make much sense to you, but you should take it anyway. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, Cafe, he says he wants you to take this to his mother. You were given you were given express mail to Mama. This is priority mail, so hurry up and deliver it! A customer came to my shop last night. Now, Cafe sees him, and Cafe's color just changes, and he goes running after the guy. The guy's a regular, a greedy thief named Sakon. I think he's from Ikana Village? You listen to his memories. You, this was added to your notebook. You were asked to deliver priority mail. This was added to your notebook. Okie dokie. All right, so let's go use what uh go do what that Keton mask is for real quick since we have a bunch of time to kill here, right? Because I believe look at that only two more masks left. Beautiful. Um, I believe we don't have to go join Cafe until yeah, right right uh, at that middle point, I believe. Uh, so yeah, we don't we still have a decent amount of time to kill. So let's uh let's not undo the flow of uh the adverse flow of time just yet. Because uh, I, I'm not sure how, my, how many times I'm going to fail this, honestly. I want to see... Alright, so how this works. Remember that patch of grass we used in, to grind er rupees early on in the beginning? Uh, in North Clock Town, right near where Sakon would be hiding? If you kill all of them and wear this... If you destroy all of them in one single sword swing and wear this mask... I don't even know how you're supposed to realize this, honestly, but it's true. In fact, just to make sure I do it in one swing, we break out the Great Fairy Sword. There we go. That's not what I wanted. Ta-da! And wear the Keton mask. Ta-da! <laughs> I don't even know how you're supposed to realize it, but that's what happened. I think maybe a mask, uh, a stone statue tells you it, maybe. Hee-hee-hoo. <laughs> Hello, child. If you are attempting to fool me, it is impossible. We Ketons can recognize our own by sh the sheen of our own tails. Is this music just not used anywhere else in the game? It's Tails with three tails. It's Tails' mama. But you're a good child. Let me put you to a test. All right, I'm going to ace this. Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. What time does Romani, the girl at the ranch, go to bed? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> she doesn't sleep. Um, I think it's eight, right? Yes! Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. What time? What is the name of the vintage milk sold at the milk bar? Chateau Romani. Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. What weapon does Romani, the girl at the ranch, use in practice? A bow. Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. Once it's completed, how tall will the festival tower at the carnival be? How the hell should I know? <laughs> um, I kind of want to cheat. <laughs> uh, what are you guys thinking? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, Shimata. I know it's not two stories. I want to say four or six stories. You're thinking four? I'm thinking four, too. Yeah! I was thinking four because four giants, right? I, I thought maybe that was the re relation. Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. What is the name of the festival this town be held in Clock Town? The Carnival of Time. Wait. 
Is it the Carnival of Mask or Time? <laughs> Shit! We just read about this! No, wait, it was called the Carnival of Time. The grandma read this the story. Yes! Yo! Very good, good. Take this prize. Nice. Let us meet again, child. Hee <laughs> hee We did it, bros. We did it. I'm pogging out of my mind. All right. So that's the only point of the Keton Mask is just that. Um, it's the third day. Uh, Grandma won't read us the... Uh, I don't think Grandma's even here anymore, right? I think Grandma pieced out. <clears throat> If I remember correctly, let's just go check on her real quick and we'll undo the uh, inverse flow of time real quick. Yeah, I don't think Sakan is ever added to the notebook, so I feel like it must be Dompe, right? Did you ever figure that out, uh, Wawa dude? If, uh, if, it was, if it was Dompe or not? That was the last person I'm missing in this gosh darn notebook. Grandma doesn't like breathing anymore, I don't think. Where'd she go? Oh no, she's still here. What's up? Oh, Tortoise, are you ready? It's been a long time since we had a picnic at Romani Ranch, hasn't it? Oh, right, yeah, now she's just like ready to go go to the Romani Ranch. That's right, that's right. Hmm. What do you mean I never helped the toilet hand? Of course I helped the toilet. Oh! I never helped the toilet hand bef after I got the notebook. That's what happened. Here, let's talk to him real quick. Because I always do it, like, on the first cycle, right? Like, before you even get the notebook. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible. Oh, that's why. All right, well, we have to reset the cycle to hear the final story anyway. <laughs> the toilet hand. I think his official name is uh, question mark, question mark, question mark, right? Yeah, okay, okay. So when we ha since we had to do one more cycle anyway to hear the uh, final grandma story and use the couple's mask, we'll do... Um, We'll, uh, we'll also help the toilet man with the notebook one last time, I guess. <laughs> All right. So let's go to Ikania Canyon. Finally finish off this quest. Da -da -da. Uh, so we have to go here. Now, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, uh, yep, um, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm trying to think, I'm like 99% sure this doesn't, sh uh, he doesn't actually show up here until, like, night, or at least sometime around that, um, yeah, so we, we want to, oh, here he is! <laughs> I found him, Green Hat Boy. I'm actually wearing a bunny hood. He's using this place as his safe house for keeping his stolen goods. Apparently, his name is Sakan. He came to the shop last night, and I followed him. His storage for the things he's stolen is on the other side of this rock door. Only Sakan can open it. The only way is to wait for Sakan to arrive. Oh, wait. I've made a promise to Anju. He will show up. Punching his coffee. <laughs> Look at this little man. Yeah, it's true. That's true. You're right. Break out the stone mask. Let's see if Kafe can even see me. Yeah, he can't see me, right? No one can see me. I'm just a ghost with this mask on. So, you know, I, I think it says in the notebook uh, when... Yeah, it, it's... it's uh. I, I I think that middle point, uh, that blue dot before the the booba on the far right, or blue rectangle rather, I think that's when he uh, shows up, and I think that's 6 p.m. 
but I don't want to take the risk, so we're just going to kind of chill. Just like the entire quest, just... You don't even get like a satisfying cutscene, because like if you fail the cafe quest once you get in there, it's you get a really depressing as hell cutscene, but at least it's satisfying in that sense, because it's depressing. But if you don't get it, if you just like he bails right here, it's just kind of like, oh. You can skip. I can skip to the, um, tonight, and it's, and it's fine. Because I, I would, I would, I'm absolutely going to do that, but I don't want to risk anything. I'll, I'll hear, I'll hear a second opinion. Wow, dude, what do you think? Is it safe? He shows up at seven. I'm put. Uh, you know what? I have access to the internet. I believe you, but I'm just going to double confirm that. <laughs> so let's find out. Uh, when does Secon? <laughs> All right. So I went. I typed in when does S A. And the first auto completion by Google was when does Sasuke come back? <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. Oh my gosh, that is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Alright, uh, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, Siri, let's see here. Pen of Memories. After him. On the night of the final day, Sakon arrives and opens the door. Okay. So we know it's at the night, so it must be true then. Yeah. All right. I'm doing it. Why does he come back? Sasuke, come home. Brother. <laughs> I, I hate this analog stick so much. <sighs> we may never know when Sasuke comes back, bros. <laughs> It's gonna be a mystery for all for all for all of our lives. All right. Ow. All right. We know we're in the clear then because he's still here. Oh, I can hear him. I can hear him walking. As soon as I start to see his model, I'm going to slow the flow of time because. We all miss Wild Dude. Okay, here he comes. I'm gonna slow the flow of time. Oh, almost definitely not. If you both end up being regulars, uh, uh, Wild Dude's a good uh, close friend of mine, so he'll be here. He's here up pretty often. So as long as I'm playing something that's interesting, at least. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that because it will make the sequence here. Not too bad, thankfully. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, though, no, now we have to wa um, watch him walk up even slowlier. Slowlier? That's certainly not a word. Slower. Brother. Things women just can't understand, this chat. They'll never understand, bros. <laughs> it might be, um, uh... Do, do you have a chat set to live chat, Luke? Because uh, uh, top chat is, like, very picky for some reason. In a very arbitrary manner. Because YouTube mobile chat is honestly hot balls, dude. Like, like it just never works for me at all. That was random. <laughs> I think I just got power surge, but the my base uh, uh, power surge protector just, just saved me, by the way. So um, if you have an, uh, anyone, uh, invest in a power surge protector. Anyway, it's opened. That or just the power of Sakon opening the hideout was too much for my entire house. 
I am still alive, right? <laughs> ah! Look! There's a mask there! It's the sun's mask! Yeah, because you guys saw that black screen too, right? For me, like, my whole house just got quiet for a second, but... <laughs> oh, shite. Now I've done it. Step on that switch! What? Are you t are you telling us what to do? Tattle, this is not the time! It's some setup where the door stays open only while the switch is pressed. Okay. And now you actually control someone else other than Link. <laughs> and this is like one of the only times something like this happens in the series, right? Where you switch control to a completely different character. There should be some device in this room that also opens the door. Oh, the mask! He's trying to pull it out of reach and make his escape. We've got to hurry. Oh, he's oh, it's too strong. But, oh, I have to push it inwards. Whoops. I thought for some reason I had to pull him out of the way. <laughs> That's no good. This isn't the switch. Go check that room. There should be some sort of mechanism. Please, there's no time. I don't like him. Why don't you like him? But there is there a choice? Should we help him? Not moving ahead in that in the face of danger when you know it's for the better is just like tail. That's it. Let's go. Oh yeah, he does have a punch. It's just like Link's sword swing though. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, oh, right, how do we do this? Uh, shoot. Oh, that slows it down, thankfully. Oh, yeah, we just do this. And then this. There we go. Thank God the Gilded Sword is so powerful. Ah, slow it down. Go, Cafe! Go, Link! Nice! I got the sun's mask back! <laughs> so, I guess that's, that's, that's the Cafe saying that, not like the usual random blurb of text. Oh, true, we don't get power surges at the same time now. That's cringe. <laughs> You helped Cafe. This was added to your notebook. Well, there's still time. I must get back to town. Oh, I guess we have to watch this whole thing. Go on. Hey! Haven't heard this music in a while, have we? I did hit every speed up switch possible there. <laughs> I think, um, luckily, I think if um, you have the time slow down with the birth time, it's uh, sort of time, it also slows down an event, which is why I made sure to do that. I'm not certain though. Regardless, well, we, we made it, pros. I know the yellow switch slows it down, doesn't speed it up though. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, so all we have left to do on this cycle, at least, is complete the Anjou Cafe. Actually, just one other thing. Because it's the night of the final day. We also have this guy. Scariest Nintendo game? Um. Hmm. That's a good question. Oh, I want to flee, but it's not written on the schedule. D to me, the delivery schedule is the highest priority. I guess probably Luigi's Mansion, honestly. This is a priority mail seal. This is the highest of priorities. I shall deliver it. All right, while well, he does that, um, what time does Andrew and Cafe meet up? Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, they don't meet up until 
the end there because it takes a while for Cafe to get back. So let's just watch our man uh, deliver this piece of mail. I don't think he, I don't think they they actually show up until like an uh, they don't make it to like an hour before the um uh, watch him pause. Is he still in there? Yeah, like, I can't actually think of a really, like, scary Nintendo game, at least off the top of my head. Like, this game has scary themes, but I wouldn't consider it scary. <laughs> it shouldn't, it should count if it doesn't. Is he still in here? Oh, he's getting dressed. Oh, that's, that's cute, actually. Um, I'm gonna go with Cubivore, then, if that counts. I, I guess it's not made by Nintendo, though, right? It was just published by them. Um... <sighs> Right, once again, we're gonna wait for the whale ma whale man, <laughs> the mailman. man. Ah, uh, scary Nintendo games. Like Luigi's Mansion does have like that one part where like there's like a shadow of Luigi hanging, like by a noose, which is really messed up. So I think that's genuinely kind of creepy. Um, other than that though, shit. Uh. Like, I guess this one. This game has, like, spooked me, but, like, it doesn't, it doesn't actually... It spooks me because it has, like, amazing atmosphere, but it never actually, like, has fooled on scared me, I don't think, right? I don't think, anyway. Is that because it symbolized the death of a franchise you love, Luke? <laughs> they haven't showed up here together, right? I just want to double-check. I believe they meet up in this room right here, right? Yes. True. I have decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. <laughs> that is pretty horrifying. Oh, the wall master? They're in this game, too, at the bottom of the well. Alright, I think the mailman is gonna make it before Cafe gets here. Do it, mailman! Do it! He's only going so slow, by the way, because I still have time slowed down because I want to make sure I don't miss the Cafe scene. Do it! Alright, Cafe's still nowhere to be found. Yeah, I don't think they show up until like an hour. Oh, right. Membership. Uh, blah, blah, blah. uh give me the cow. Ah, you remember. Talk to my man here. Let's speak to him. As you can see, all of our customers have taken refuge. Maybe my undoing, but I'm the sort of fellow who will stay at his business throughout the thick and thin. And I continue standing here, hoping here at my counter, hoping one of my favorite customers will appear. And I wasn't wrong. See, you stopped it. See, I don't know why he's my favorite. Uh, I'm his favorite customer. So you know, on this timeline at least, uh, or this cycle, I haven't once talked to him. But that's so sweet. That dialogue is adorable. I love that. All right. Speaking of uh, sweet conversations. I have a delivery for you, postmistress. Oh my, it can't be. You're still here? T -t -t Tomorrow's delivery is still scheduled. What are you saying? Do you see the sky? It's terrible. But, but, but. Oh my. Well, what shall we do? It's from Cafe. Yeah. It's priority mail. I'm so happy to think something good would come in the end. Thank you. You flee now. That's an order. Understood. Oh dear, are you all right with not fleeing? It looks like this is it for the town, you know? You saw the moon, didn't you? It's gotten so huge. All the townsfolk have fled. You should flee too, far away. Hell yeah. Is there? <laughs> I'd read it. Fem, fem, uh. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I wasn't wasn't planning to ask. I'll just we'll just leave that mystery to the sky. <laughs> All right. 
I mean, look at him, he's a hero. Now let's talk to him, if he'll let us. Let me talk to you, you hero, you legend of a man. He gives trash mail to Ganon? That's awesome. I, th I think he just stands here until I talk to him, right? There we go. I have decided to flee. It is an order from the Postmaster. I am now free! I can set my own schedule! I don't need this anymore, so here, I'll let you have it! You got the Postman's hat. This dignified hat allows you to check the mail. You see to put it on. It might suit you. You saved the troubled public servant. This was added to your notebook. Oh, look at him go! <laughs> He's as free as the wind! Godspeed, soldier. <laughs> Check out that, uh, mail hat here. Ah, it doesn't suit us at all. <laughs> In fact, it's clipping through our regular hat. Alright, so now all that we have really left to do is go and wait for Cafe. Uh, let's see here. Only one mask missing. I need that. <laughs> oh, he is in Mario Sunshine. That's right. Under disguise. Maybe that's that's the cannon, dude. That's where he went. I'm just gonna steal this from you, by the way. There's your honeymoon money I just stole. All right, let's undo the uh, slow time. Alright, now we wait. <laughs> what if Cafe just never showed up? <laughs> Imagine. Bum bum. Bum bum. I love. Dude. Just get a moment, because we don't get to hear it often, but can we get a moment to just appreciate how amazing this, like, this music, this, like, that clock at the bottom, the fact that the entire town is literally shaking. This, the, the entire, like, dawn of the, or rather, um, night of the final day is just, it's just Kino. <laughs> oh, you really did find a brother Walla, dude. <laughs> a fellow Chibi Robo stand. Truly a, a, a beautiful union, uh, night full of unions for everyone here. Maybe at the Game Awards tonight, we won't actually get Jonesy, but it'll be Chibi Robo. You'll finally get him for Smash Luke. There's probably as much as a chance as uh, the moon turning uh, pink tomorrow, but you never know. <laughs> Oh, that's true, yeah, actually. You can't technically see it. It's like, it's like some day night. I wonder if we can actually see... Cafe should almost be here. I wonder if we can follow him up here. Let's take, let's take a look outside. There he is! Alright, never mind. We have to make sure we bear witness to this scene. It's so cool that he, can, he doesn't just like teleport here at a certain time. You actually can see him physically walk up there. It's a, it's a thing. Like, that level of detail is still something you don't always see in games, you know? It's crazy. Here he is! I guess I'm over there now. Hey, guys. Oh, that one little... <gasps> I... I have met you before. What a familiar scent. That's creepy. Long, long ago, yes, we were still young. We made a promise, didn't we? The mask of the sun and the moon. We were to exchange them on the day of the carnival of time. Anju, I'm sorry I was late. Welcome home. A... They're lovers, but they look just like a mother and a child. That's the best part. No. <laughs> Should have worn the stone mask for this. Let's exchange the promised masks. They're also apparently witches. 
because they just fused them like that and I it just formed that, I guess. Nah, nothing in Termina makes sense. We have exchanged our oaths and have become a couple. You are our witness. Please accept this mask. Da, 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 da. You got the couple's mask. It is filled with their love. <laughs> Andrew's face not looking too fine right there. I just realized that the angle was really weird in her model. Please take refuge. We are fine here. We shall greet the morning together. The two gave you a happy mask. This was added to your notebook. Please take refuge. We are fine here. We shall greet the morning together. Hey, we have to hurry up and deposit all this money in our bank account, though. <laughs> Are you serious? That's Zelda Wiki's cringe, then. I mean, like, Majora's Mask gave character to all of, like, these just random, random NPCs, right? It, it's, it's so amazing. Dude, like, Luke, I don't know if you ever noticed this. I noticed it, like, one of my first streams. And, like, do you, I never noticed before this playthrough that the guards are praying uh, for their lives. <laughs> On the final day. That's so cool. I never noticed that. All right, let's quickly deposit these rubies and play the song time. <laughs> All right, 285. A true capitalist making caring about nothing but his money into even at the even at the end of the world. Got to deposit them into my account. Nice. All right. Do 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 do. All right. So this is the last cycle coming up. <clears throat> And there's one thing I want to make sure I do. Uh, and that is, one, hear the final story from Grandma. Two, uh, get a certain heart piece from a certain postman's box, now that we have the postman's mask. And three, I guess we'll go say hi to Dante since so we never went and saw him, <laughs> and I feel bad about that. So, first things first, let's go get our free 100 rupees. The best OOT the MM glow up. Um, as in model glow up or just ca or character glow up or both. Because I feel like honestly, like um, like the postman's like model was mu much better in uh in in this game than the remake. I mean, than the OOT. Both, I guess. Um. Postman's definitely up there. Uh, Romani is insanely... Romani and, like, in the fact that they made use of Mulan's adult and child models to make two separate characters, that's just kind of ingenious, but the models are more or less the same, I guess. Everyone's got more animation, so that's a thing. Um, what else is there? Oh, we're gonna have to do this later, so... Two, three, five, one, four. Um, what else? Uh. <laughs> Alright, we have to wait till this place opens at 8 o'clock. Does, uh, does it open at 10? Let's find out. Opens at 10. Alright, so let's kill three hours real quick. Uh, let's just go use this postman. I believe you get a heart piece. Which uh, post box is it? This one? Oh, I think it's just any post box, actually. Cha-ching! Nice work. Uh, next, we want to use... This guy. See, I did that, um, also, before. Um, uh, <laughs> um... I, did, I think the last time I played the game, I did that. Um, but the problem with doing that is that you can't actually save everyone, <laughs> and it doesn't actually change the ending you get regardless. So I think the idea is that once you stop Skull Kid, everything is retroactively undone. Like, all the curses that he made, right? I think that's the idea. 
Um, because regardless of what, if you do do that, like, true run or not, you, um, you, you get the same, uh, outcome. But yeah, but it does feel nicer to do that. And I was tempted to do that, but it would just be too much planning that I don't have time for, honestly. <laughs> Otherwise, I absolutely would have done that. Plus, I didn't even get everything, so. The, the main problem is that you can't save the old lady and do the Anju and Cafe quest in the same run, right? That's the main problem. So, like, there's some stuff that you can't do, which is really annoying. Um, you can do mostly everything. Like, you can save, like, all of the... Uh, areas. In fact, maybe I'll do that just for funsies. A quick little boss rush, right? After I talk to the grandma, I mean, might as well. But then I have to fight. <laughs> Ugh. Then I have to fight York again. <laughs> York and the Stone Tower thing. Well, I, I, I'll have the Chateau Romani this time. Hmm. All right, is it open yet? Just about. Uh, let's see here. Couple's mask. Get it ready. Oh, I did do the frog quest actually. Um, I, 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 I it was, it that was in the stream that was supposed to be recorded la uh, last night or streamed last night, but I messed it up, <laughs> and I guess forgot to hit go live or something. I did in fact do the frog quest. Um, I feel kind of bad about not showing that, but at the same time, you just, you just go and find every single frog, which I did show, uh, set, like, individually, when I was, like, like, there's the frog in the Great Bay Temple, the frog in the Woodfall Temple, and then the frog on the log in the Southern Swamp, and that's about it, I think. Oh, and of course, the one in the mountain. Alright, so as you guys remember, they were all fussing over that, uh, one, like, like, should we leave, should we go? So let's speak to them with this mask. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Ah! The couple's mask. What a nice reminder. So, a young couple has been married. I wonder, did my wife flee? What? What did you just say? Yes, yes, everyone. We are all worried for our families. Why don't we end this meeting? But, Mr. Mayor! This will do. Whether you're stubborn and will stay and guard your family, or if you prefer to run far away and seek shelter, this is for- that is for the people to decide on their own. Thank you for allowing me to put an end to all that pointless bickering. Adults are all so stubborn, it's shameful. Here's a token of my gratitude. Ta-da! The texture on the- on the mask is not shown up there, so Link just has like a vectorless face. <laughs> well, I may be an unreliable mayor, but at least my family can depend on me. I want to protect my wife. You saved the mayor from tedious uh, meeting. This was added to your notebook. All right. So now we want to do what? Um, let's see here. I think we still have to add the the the, the hand man to the uh, notebook. So I guess we'll go do that real quick. It's a shame, but because I, I wanted to show you guys what Skull Kid looks like if you look at him on the telescope on the third day, and I forgot to do that last freaking thing, but I don't think I even had time to do it anyway, so... Oh, well. Um, basically, what happens, if you look, if you, you can look through the tel uh, telescope on the Ast Astral Observatory any day, right? And if you look at him on the third day, he doesn't like, like, shake his butt at you and act all playful. He acts, like, weird and, like, cold. Like, he just kind of stares at you and turns his head, and that's it. And it's a really nice touch, I think. Uh, shoot. Do I actually have to... I guess I'll just go listen to Grandma's story, but Grandma's story is going to skip a whole day. I Actually, can you save Buttman on the second day? I actually don't remember. I think you can, right? You can save him on the second day, Toilet Paper Man. Yeah, it's super cool. I wish I, I, wish I would have shown it, but I guess you can just look it up still. Um, I, 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 uh, oh, well. Yeah, I think Toilet Hand is on... See, the problem is I never added him to my notebook. I know, right? This is this game has so much work... This game was made in a year, dude. It's crazy to me. It was, it was like... The, all, I guess since they all had basically almost all the assets that they needed. But, like, even then, there's still a decent amount of new assets. And it's just, like... It's crazy to me. This game 
one of my favorite games of all time, was made in a year as a bet. I don't know if I ever met, ever uh, said that uh, on stream or explained that, but this game was made because uh, originally they were just going to make DLC for uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time, or rather an expansion pack for Zelda Ocarina of Time on the Zelda on the Nintendo 64 disc drive. And but Aonuma wanted to make a new Zelda game instead, and so he and so Miyamoto said, "All right, fine, if you can make it in a year," and he did, and this was it. It was awesome. <laughs> And they hired some guy uh, who um, who's now like one of the heads at Nintendo, I think, for game development. He he's the one who wrote this game. I forget his name. He was the guy who like demonstrated the Joy-Con capabilities in that one Nintendo Direct. That was him. Uh, he's the guy who wrote Majora's Mask, and he was like a film student or something like that. And he wants to work on a Zelda game again, but Anuma won't let him for some reason. That's cringe. Whatever. All right, what else? Um, I guess we'll just teleport. To, it'll be fast if we just teleport the clock down from out here. Do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure you can save the butt, the hand man on the second day as well. So we'll do that. We'll listen to grandma's story tonight. Do, 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 do. So let's talk to this loser one last time. Wait, wait, hang on! This is a private property! Don't try using it when I'm not around! Alright, listen, Buster. Yeah, 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 I have a moon's tear for ya. Just give me that property. You can save Handman on the third day? That's baller. Ah. Oh. I should have waited then. Ah, it's fine. It's too late. <laughs> I can talk to the grandma now, at least. Hey. I think he shows up at what, like 12 p.m. or something every night? No one else is using it, probably. Whoa! That audio study that you may or may not have just heard was uh, the, the power of official Nintendo emulation, everybody. <laughs> uh. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, let's just go talk to the grandma now. And hear the last piece of lore. We'll, we'll save him on the second day. How's that sound? Alright, so... Nope, Grandma's downstairs. We ourselves the all-night mask. There we go. Oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping Father? Then let Mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? I'll hear the story of the Four Giants. The Four Giants, is it? This is quite a lawn. This is quite a lawn? This is quite long, but it is a good story for you to hear, so I'll read it with some extra gusto. <clears throat> Thank you, Princess. Uh, the Four Giants. This tale's from long ago, when all the people weren't separated into four worlds like they are now. It's interesting how they uh, classify them as worlds instead of, um, like, areas, by the way. That's interesting to know. Yeah, Deku Scrubs haven't been around in, a lot, in Zelda games for a while, have they? They kind of got re replaced by, like, those things in Wind Waker, the Ko like, Kokiri things. In those times, all the people lived together, and the four giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. 100 steps north, 100 steps south, 100 steps east, 100 steps west. 100 steps west, one said. <laughs> if, you, if you have need, call us in the loud voice by declaring something such as, The mountain blizzard has trapped us! Or, the ocean is about to swallow us. Your cries shall carry to us. Now then, there was one who was shocked and saddened by all of this. A little imp. The imp was a friend of the giants since before they had created the four worlds. 
Why must you leave? Why must you not stay? Or why do you not stay? Excuse me. The child friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds. Repeatedly, he wronged all people. Overwhelmed with misfortune, the people sang the song of prayer to the giants who lived in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard their cry and responded with a roar. O oh, imp, O oh, imp, we are the protectors of the people. You have caused the people pain. O oh, imp, leave the four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you apart. The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. The imp returned to the heavens, and harmony was restored to the four worlds. And the people rejoiced, and they worshipped the giants of the four worlds like gods, and they lived happily ever after. Good job! Wasn't that fun, Tortoise? What did the people uh, do to call the giants? They sung a song. That's right, but you couldn't just sing a song anywhere. 100 steps north, 100 steps south, 100 steps east, 100 steps west. The spot at which those giants parted is right in the middle of this very town. And now we're on the second day. <laughs> Ta-da! So, um, yeah. And if you couldn't tell, that uh, most of that story was in reference to our lad and uh, the uh, the imp. What's interesting to note about it, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get I'm gonna put on my like a uh, freaking nerd hat for a second here and, and uh, um, <clears throat> it's what's interesting to note, right? Is that oh wait you have to answer wrong? Oh that's right you get a hard piece if you answer wrong for some reason. Ah whatever I don't care. <laughs> um, anyway, um, what's interesting to note about all of that, right? Is that if you um. If you keep keep, keep uh, pay attention to some point uh, uh, some some of that dialogue, right? She mentions that um, the Skull Kid was banished from all of Termina, right? And he somehow got back in. And Skull Kid, we know from a point later on in this game, uh, I'll point it out when we get to it, that it's the same Skull Kid from Ocarina of Time. At least it appears to be, because he recognizes us. And mentions an event that happens in Ocarina of Time if you do the side quest with him. Um, and of course he has the same model too. So, when he when they say he was banished to the heavens, as far as Termina is concerned, which Termina we've already established seems to be some weird alternate version of Hyrule, because they have um they have their own kingdom that fell a long time ago. Uh, and they have composers for that royal family that composed the Song of Storm, even though in Hyrule, uh, the royal family that composed the uh, Song of Storms is Zelda's, not the Ikana Kingdoms, right? So, is it possible that Skull Kid this entire time in Ocarina of Time was actually from uh, Termina, this weird world that we're in, and his presence in Ocarina of Time was him uh, being banished from there? And if we consider that possibility, where is that place the Happy Mask Salesman? Because he was also an Ocarina of Time, right? And he seems to be the same person, but he seems to also be more familiar with this world of Termina than we are. It's a lot to think about, and a lot to come to your own conclusions on. Uh, but it's really cool, I think, that you even have, that this game allows you to even think about weird stuff like that. What?! <laughs> oh shit, you're right! <laughs> Damn it! Dude, you just blew my asshole wide open! <laughs> Live on stream! <laughs> it's part of my French, but it's true! Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed! You're completely right! The- the Zel- so wait, so the- But wait! Hang on! I- I, I can salvage this! <laughs> So, the composers of the uh, Zelda royal family composed the Son, uh, the Sun Son, and the Son of Storms, which we don't really have an origin for in uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, it, it, it just it just kind of is played by that one guy's musical box. It was composed by the Akana, Akana Valley's Kingdom royal family, right? So there's clearly a parallel be between those two, the Sun and the Storm, right? You know, you're right. 
No, it's no. It was the it was the whole crux of my thing was that they were both composed by the same. But I could I salvaged it. I salvaged it. <laughs> anyway, it's cool to think about terminal because you don't know because again, uh, it bears repeating. We have to remember here how we entered terminal. I'm just gonna skip forward to uh, night, by the way, because I don't have much else to do in the day. Um. How we enter Termina is through the Lost Woods, which is where the Skull Kid was, right? Through the Lost Woods, we, um, as in where, Skull, where Skull, uh, the Skull Kid was in Ocarina of Time. Through the Lost Woods, woods um, you enter a log, and then you, uh, and then you fall down, and then you turn upside down and climb up. And in the stone tower, you can literally flip up the what seems to be the entire universe with just the light arrows, right? So there's a quite there seems to be some type of literal uh, upside down nature uh, to, well, compared to Hyrule, at least that Termina exists in some upside down realm, right? It, it's not natural how you got here. It's interesting. I, it's um it's very 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 interesting to think about. Termina is a weird place. And they might, you, you could argue, I guess it's kind of retreading the same territory as um, Link's Awakening. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, it, like, more like, because Link's Awakening setting is also uh, just objectively not real, right? It's revealed at the end. But this one, it's never said outright what the origin of Termina is. Right? I'm getting him on the phone. Matt, hello? Wake up! I got a theory for you here. Are you listening to here? I got gold! I'm pretty sure he's probably already done a theory like this anyway. But, um, anyway, yeah. It's, it's, it's cool. I love this setting very much. It is easily my favorite setting in any Zelda game. Not just because of the NPCs, but because of the mystery behind it. Because, again, like, unlike, uh, uh, the one in, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, the, uh, I don't know why I'm forgetting. Uh, I, what's the Lake's Awakening setting called? Like, I know there's Tau 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 Heights is one of the locations in it. I forget what the actual island's called, though. But anyway, that setting, it's just revealed at the end. By the way, it's fake, right? But they, don't, they never state what what the, what Termina's origin is in this game, right? Oh, I have to actually wait till it's 10. Kono? Konolint? Yeah, it's something like that. I always just... I don't know why I only ever just think of Telltale Heights when I think of that uh, area, but... I feel like it's just because it's easier to say than whatever the hell you just <laughs> typed. Anyway, yeah. All very neat, if I do say so myself. Oh, you know what we can do to kill some time real quick, actually? Um, we have to go grind for some arrows. Let's see here. I wanted to, uh... Membership mask. There we are. I want to do the Goron Mask on as well. There we are. Now we wait. <laughs> Hasn't, has, what's the, how long has it been since the last FNAF game? Is he still going off <laughs> about theories on that? Is there even more, any material left? All I can ever think about when it comes to him and those FNAF theories is that one time the, like, creator of FNAF was like, no, you're just wrong. And, like, he just said that in the comment section. They had, like, a little small beef going on, I think. I think I'm remembering that correctly. It made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Go home, loser. Book theories? Was attacking film with film theories not enough? Now they're making book theories? What books? But that's just a theory, a biblical theory. Thanks for watching. God, please, for for the for my Lord and Savior's sake, please leave the leave books alone. <laughs> you harmed enough, Mr. Pat. Wait, there's FNAF books. Is Percy Jackson flowing? <laughs> Why is there FNAF books? I, I guess I went through me, honestly, at this point. Ah, uh, you're a member. Please come in. 
So I don't know if we've ever actually gotten this item before. Let's speak to the shopkeeper. Oh, wait, I want to buy something. Is Moby Dick purple guy? Bruh, could you imagine? What if <laughs> I'm picturing Ahab? Like, <laughs> I'm picturing Matt Pat as Ahab, and he's like, he's riding the boat, and everyone's got captain. We can't make any more theories. If purple guy is just a myth. He's just a random, like, character. There's nothing deeper behind it. He's just like, no! <laughs> I will hunt him down! And the purple guy just emerges from the ocean. He's like, ah! Oh! <laughs> All right, give me that Chateau. So what the Chateau Romani does, since we never actually drank this before, uh, is if you drink it, you have infinite magic for the rest of the cycle. It's pretty pog. Um, and that's it's what's gonna make the final area much simpler as a result too. It also makes it, if you're going for a boss rush, a lot easier as well. So uh, what's there left to do? Uh, we have to go hand this man his material. Uh... Hey, listen. I remember watching that Mario... Uh... <laughs> Mario is Rosalina's dad video uh, back in the day. I remember th being like, oh, you know what? That's pretty freaking uh, smart. Maybe he is. Um, and I... I haven't watched it since, <laughs> so it's probably something really- I think his entire uh, uh, idea behind that was that Rosalina was from a- Um, uh, was from a different timeline. This is what made uh, that theory work. Rosalina was from a different universe, because you know at the end of Mario Galaxy, right? Because this does happen, to be fair. There was like- there, there was a writer for Mario Galaxy that got away with more than Miyamoto wanted them to. That, that is a, a canon- uh, that is a, um, a factual thing that happened. So there might be more to it. Um, but- uh, anyway, his his the entire uh, idea behind that theory was that M M Rosalina was from a separate universe where Peach died, and then she went to the space and became the queen of the galaxy. So, because at the end of Mario Galaxy, uh, technically the universe like resets, and then like Mario Galaxy Two happens or something like that. I think is the canon explanation because that's why Mario goes welcome new galaxy and all that's that random thing because like the like there's like a black hole happens and sucks up everything i don't know anyway let's talk to this man P -p -p paper please here you go man yay oh you saved me i'm glad we're doing this on the final cycle most important side quest this fell down here i'll give it to you thanks Hey, and just like that, that is the entirety of the notebook. <laughs> Except for this, because you would have to... Basically, how you complete this one is if you hand deliver the letter uh, that Cafe gives you to uh, his mother yourself, instead of giving it to the mailman, she'll give you an empty bottle. That's why it says that's not complete. I'm not going to do the whole Anjun Cafe quest again, though, just for that. Oh, and this one, I, I, this isn't complete either, because I didn't. I, I was supposed to say no on the second uh, story. Uh, but again, I'm not going to redo one a whole new cycle just for that. I just want to beat the game. So, we got everything I think we need to get anyway. <laughs> he did sing that and that was the i remember that episode that was him trying to determine which, which female video game characters had real boobs or not right that was the thing that was when the, the theories were less like here's my theory my, my conspiracy theory about the lore right it was just like here's like uh he used to do like more theories that were like kind of like trying to bring like scientific uh math into like character models and shit like that or like 
I don't know. Uh, the only one I remember really liking was like the like the ones that were kind of clearly obviously not true, but like uh, he was he was just pointing out the fact that like technically this would have happened if it if normal physics were applied, like the uh, like with Cloud and Cloud being the one that killed Aerith. Because I was like, oh yeah, look, he stabbed him. It was kind of just more of like a joke, but he put like science behind the joke, and that made it funny. Uh, and now it's he he takes himself. Uh, well, he probably doesn't actually take himself all that seriously. Uh, it's just that. Now, like, he stre he kind of, he's probably run out of material, I imagine. <laughs> Poor mother fans, dude. Their whole legacy is people thinking Nessus Sands. <laughs> I feel so terrible. <laughs> Alright, I think now we should just fast forward to the final day, right? Then we'll go say hi to Dompe. I gave the Pope Undertale? Why was that like a question? Why did he present that like a question? Like, you, you, you gave the Pope Undertale. This is a fact. Why are we talking? <laughs> this is how much time we have. Why are we spending the last final cycle of my favorite game talking about Matt Pat? <laughs> uh, I, uh, I guess it's fitting in its own way, I guess. Truly, we're at time's end. Donald, the final day. Matt Pat's final theory. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Dompe. Let's finally see what my boy's up to. Do, 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 do. So Dompe's at the graveyard, I believe, right? Don't mention to Nintendo that ROMs exist, they might actually explode. Unless you're mentioning to them that they actually uh, sold us ROMs for many years, in which case, uh, they'll gladly sell for themselves. I, 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 saw, I saw, like, a tweet earlier today, because Nintendo's been in some hot water recently because of, uh, Free Melee, them recently canceling, uh, as Splatoon, uh, 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 what's it called, uh, event in the crossfire of that as well. And uh, I so I saw a recent post, and they also recently canceled the sale of like those uh, uh, Joy Cons based off of that one guy. And I I, I saw that one, one Twitter post when I was making fun of them, where it was like, uh, "You can spell ROM in Mario Galaxy," <laughs> and it was just it was just it was the next it, which you can uh, not Galaxy um, Odyssey. Uh, and next to it was just the, the Walter White looking distressed image. <laughs> Destroyed me. All right. Um. Wait. So where was I going? Right. The graveyard. <laughs> I got. I got distracted. Oh, let's summon a Pono one last time too. Constantly forget she's even in this game. Honestly, you don't barely ever have to use her. All right, Pono. Let me go on Link ride you. No, I'm not gonna do that to your girl. On guard. Away. Yeah, we're gonna go over here. No, I, I know, like, uh, I know, I know, I know, John, um, uh, Mother 3 is, like, basically officially translated, but, like, well, technically not officially translated, but it is fully translated by a fan, and it's a really good translation, right? Um, and it's interesting. But, like, Nintendo themselves are so, like, against emulation and ROMs, right? That it's weird that they've basically let most people who know about and play it via that method and not try to sell it themselves, since they clearly know this is interest. But I guess they just don't feel like paying for the, uh... I don't know, it's weird. Okay, so now we have to go to the night of the third day. Um, let's see here. And then wear the captain's mask. By official, do you mean like that he works for Nintendo? Because if so, I did not know that. That's that's amazing. Or like, or like he's just like works as a translator somewhere else. Because <clears throat> like uh, being official doesn't necessarily mean uh. 
like uh, say anything about quality technically, right? Because like um, there are fan translations that are better than official translations. But um, uh, a, a usually official just means like he has like like a piece of professional translator. Yeah, that's the other thing I heard. Like they don't want to have to deal with having to like tr uh, deal with a, uh, translate and localize a game that has a lot of like uh, heavy stuff in it as Mother Three does. Because Mother Three does not hold its punches. Oh, uh, really? Nice. I I always respect a good uh, local a localizer. I think that's one of my backup plans is to fully learn Japanese just so I can translate stuff myself. Because there's nothing more infuriating to me, and e even as when I was a kid, than when I could clearly tell that something was uh, overly localized, you know, or like um, translated poorly. There's nothing more infuriating than that. I don't think. Open the grave. Isn't the clan in Mother 2, though, or is that also Mother 3? Alright. Oh, right. This sequence. Suck. Yikes. Do I really want to do this? <laughs> uh, I guess we will. Why not? Oh, that's a... That's a oh, blah, 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 blah. That was a wall master. Oh, wait, isn't Dompe, like, invisible or something? Is that how it works? Let's break out the lens of truth. That's two? Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, they've officially re-released that multiple times, though. Oh, wait. He, he wasn't invisible. I just couldn't see him for some reason. I was gonna say, I don't think he's actually dead in this game. He's only dead in the Ocarina of Time in the future, right? Hey, Dompey! You? Who are you? I can't see because it's too bright. You're not a ghost, are you? Hey? A fairy? Oh, it was the fairy's light. In that case, it's just perfect. I came looking for the royal family's legendary treasure, but my torch has gone out. I'm sorry, but could you walk in front of the light that way? Please? Hey? Yeah, sure. You will? In that case, I'll use your light as I walk. Just lead me to the place where you think the treasure chest is buried. I'll even split the treasure with you. I'm counting you. I'm counting on you now. All right, let's try here then, I guess. Over here, Dompe. Dompe, where are you going? Over here. There you go, buddy. No, Dompe. Dompe. Over. I guess I have to. Oh, yeah, I have to lock onto him. That's right. Ah! Dompe. Boy, I love a jelly donut. Oh, there's something strange about this spot. You want me to dig here? Sure. Something strange is here, but ain't treasure. Alright, um, this way, good sir. Oh my gosh, this is so infuriating. <laughs> the royal family knows what's up. Uh, this spot. Oh, there's something strange about this spot. You want me to dig here? Yes. I think, um, uh... Those fires are like, you know, activate something? Can you get them off? Something like that? Something like that, anyway. Yes, sir. I think, I think you have, we have to, like, make him go up or something, too. Nothing. Ah, bah humbug. Let's try here, then. This is the most riveting final uh, finale stream of, of, of Majora's Mask of all time, fellows. I'm telling you. Oh no, Dompe! I didn't mean for you to go up there. Is there a good reason for him to go up there? Let's find out. Dompe, where are you going? Uh, uh, <laughs> Dompe! No, don't pay you fool! <laughs> hey, where'd you go? Eh, shut up. Nothing here. All right, well let's try it again then, because he I did actually have to get him on there. I'm pretty sure. Man, I'm just digging. 
Moon's fallen? Bro, I'm just digging. It's like that grilling meme. Like, here I am, just grilling. Respectable. Alright. Alright, Dompe, you dumb idiot. Come this way. There we go, buddy. There we go. We love to see it. We love to see it. Oh, I have to get to that other spot up there, too. What a pain. Menduxai. Oh, there's something strange about this spot. You want me to dig here? Yes. Ooh. Nothing! That's cringe. Dompe, fall down. What does this do? Oh wait, these, this gets lit on fire. Uh, okay. So we want to take him to the other thing. Uh, let's see here. Oh my gosh, Dompe, just keep following me. <laughs> I should start. To, I should just start blasting the. What was that theme song for? Uh. uh <laughs> But no, 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 not up there! Not up there! No, Dompe! I'll let him get too cocky. Now I have to wait. <laughs> what was the theme song for that Majora's Mask uh, bridge thing? Uh, it was like full moon, right? Just start blasting that. <laughs> really fit the atmosphere of this. You fall down now. Thank you, idiot. Now follow me. Why would they put this in the game? <laughs> this is agonizing. <laughs> Full moon. Pitter, patter, pitter, patter, pitter, pitter, patter, pitter, pitter, patter, pitter. There we go. All right, I have to quickly go up here. It should come somewhere over here, right? Yes, sir. Don't you dare fall off, I swear. Come on, come on. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Oh, there's something strange about this spot. You want me to dig here? I do indeed. Finally. Hello. Ah! ah! It's the leader of the ghosts! <laughs> oh, so it is. Ah! Not those ones. Light arrows, please. The magic cost is relevant because we have infinite magic. <laughs> Where'd it go? There it is. Uh, they're both terrible, <laughs> I think is the answer, but I think OOT, Dompe, there's like, um, you don't have to, you don't have to, uh, make him follow you, he just like has like a set pattern, so that's just less frustrating because you feel like, you feel less like at fault when he does like a bad, it takes like a bad spot, right? You got an empty bottle! Yay! You know what? We're taking this ghost with us to the fi uh, final part of the game. How about it, lads? You caught a big po! Alright. <laughs> That's everything. <laughs> I guess we'll now just head to the final part of the game, right? We're finally gonna do it. I almost feel sad. Actually, wait. Where does this uh, take us then? Up here? I think it just takes us to Dompe's place, right? Oh, Fifth rupees. Nice, nice. More arrows. That go. This ghost is going on a ride. Let me tell you. <laughs> I I ain't seen nothing, and I don't know nothing. <laughs> God bless you, Dompe. 
All right, let's get out of here. Do 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 do. So yeah, I could. Well, I'll leave it up to you guys. You want me to go uh, do every single boss fight um, in the, all the different dungeons uh, again and like technically save them, or or do you want me just to do the final boss? I'll leave it up to you guys. Cause I don't really care either way. <clears throat> but I am tempted just to go straight to the final boss because if not, it's not, if I don't do like that perfect run that you guys mentioned earlier, it's, it feels just kind of. Actually, I don't think I even have time. Do I? Well, with slow down time, I might, but it'd be close. Nah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Final fun. So, uh, does that does that mean do all the bosses or just uh, just go right to the final boss? Like just vibing, dude. Heart pieces do I have left anyway? I know there's I think there's like two in the in the final area. So I'm still missing four. I'm still missing six? Damn! What the hell even is there left? Alright, I'll try my best. <laughs> Let's do this uh, inverted saw time then so we have enough time. <laughs> final fun of screaming at the clock tower door. All right, let's slow the current flow of time and quickly head the woodfall then. <clears throat> let's see here. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to need for the first area. Luckily, the light arrow should make a lot of these boss fights go a bit faster. Um, we need this for woodfall. All right. We'll go and defeat every single boss. So first is the Woodfall Temple boss. What's he called again? Like, uh, he's, he's the Woodfall Warrior, uh, Warrior of Woodfall, rather. Um, it's called, like, Sco, Sco, Ska, <laughs> Ska, Scat, Scatman? Yeah, Obama, got it. All right, Obama, it's time. All right, let's see if I can remember what the, how the song goes. Easy. Easiest song of my entire life. I love this song. Do I have to save the Deku Princess too, or can I leave her there to rot? <laughs> Alright. Should we make it out on our own? Sounds good to me. Or I could take her- You know what? I like the way you think. <laughs> We're taking the big Poe and the Deku Princess with us to the moon, baby. <laughs> They're gonna- They're coming with us. Odola, that's right. Odol Odola. Yeah. Oh. All right. So, do I even have any Deku nuts? I do not. Question mark. I don't see any on here. Bombs. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any Deku nuts. So let's just meme this guy's entire existence. Uh, you don't, you don't actually need the Deku nuts to, to kill him. And that's what you call the easiest boss fight of your entire life. I forgot that you can just hit him with that right at the beginning. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here real quick and store ourselves a Deku Princess. Oh, don't worry, I'm, way, I'm, I'm multiple stats ahead of you. I just spam spin attack. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Okie dokie then. So let's get our. Oh, now we have to listen to her talk though. That's, that's, yeah, that's fine. We're about to punish her anyway. I'm mashing the A button. Mashing, I tell you. Yeah, yeah. Air kiss me, whatever. She's like a wooden birdo. <laughs> I don't like her giant, like, whole mouth. I know all the Dekus have that, but her, like, little makeup and stuff. I, you know what I just realized? She has, like, those little, like, um, uh, like, eyebrows that you see in, like, those, like, that Asian art. You know what I mean? Alright, you're coming with us to the final boss. All right. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> we got the crew, baby. <laughs> now, let's teleport to Snowfall. Oh, I just realized. I don't know why I thought that would just. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Excellent. Really, really glad I did that. Anyway. Alright, there we go. Anyway. Uh, so I hope I hope it actually lets us go to uh, the Mount Snowhead. It does. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Skull Kid's not going to know what hit him. Or a mask. Oh, it's... I forget this one. <laughs> it's, uh... A right, left, A right, left, right. Am I an idiot? Is it left, right? No, it's right A. I'm an idiot. <laughs> there we go. Do, do, do. This is the song I probably like memorized the least. Because I'm bad. <laughs> Alright, go, go to sleep, Mr. Goron, sir. I'm putting together a team. <laughs> so, a group of people to avenge Termina. <laughs> you know, I know of one more person who adds to the crew, actually. Ah! Damn it. Just like with Endgame, this actually involves time travel, too. I get to, um, the end of, uh... Majora's Mask and, um... <laughs> yeah, ask Skull Kid if, uh... Uh... uh so yeah, ask someone, ask Skull Kid if he'll do it all again. He's like, no, I don't think I will. Alright. GOAT TIME! Fire arrows. There you go. Let's right, see how fast we can kill this man. Because this fight's gonna be the same speed regardless because of the nature of it uh, only being not be able to attack through one method. Do, 
do 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 I forgot, if you land him in the air, he collapses like that, and you can just, like, break out the sword on him. That was something that was kind of required to do in Majora's uh, Mask of the if I remember. Rather than just being an option. Oh, you guys are literally talking about that! <laughs> See if I can't knock him down again. Should be a hill up here. Yeet! Nice. Uh. Break out the great fairy sword. Ah, oh, so close. Should be close to being dead. Ah, he bombed me. Oh, what crouch? What crouch stabs would have been better? I was just doing spin attacks. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. It would've been better. Shoot. Whatever, well, he's almost dead now, anyway. There! That's so cool. Remember how they ruined it in the remake by having you have to shoot a giant eyeball that pops out? Why? <laughs> I don't understand. Why not just let people fight it the way they want to? No! I have to tell YouTube to calm down with its, like, censorship of chat. One second. You typed in murder, and YouTube's like, Whoa, are you sure you want this comment to go through? That's a pretty nasty word. Murder. It's like, yes. Ah. Probably a setting I can adjust, maybe, for that. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Almost got him. He's right there. Oh, I'm going to knock him down. It's over. Stia, what do you mean? Whatever, got him. Crouch tabs are as good as your last hit. Oh, I forgot about that. That's cool. A. Nice. All right. Now, Giort. <laughs> I, I think Giort will go slightly fast, at least because of the um, um, faster, at least because of the light arrows. I'm pretty sure, but yeah, it's a whole thing. Okay, we were all here, bros. Do 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 Oh, I just remembered. I'm gonna have to play the Elegy of Emptiness like three more times <laughs> because of the, having the fight Twin Mold again. That's Sana. Eh? What song is that again? All right, well, let's get this person part of the squad too. God, I hope I have time to get this last person that's part of the squad, by the way, because I really want to get them in. Uh. Anyway, yeah, what was I? Gonna do. Gonna do. Gonna do. What was I gonna do? I went to put on this wear mask. That's what I was gonna do. Uh. There is one individual in particular I, like, need to be part of the squad. Actually, how do you get him again? <sighs> Shit, do I have time to do that? <laughs> I hope I do. <laughs> New Wave Bossa Nova. I'm gonna see if I can play it without having to, uh... Got it! <laughs> I knew I could, like, he, I, this one, I, I love this song, it's amazing, so I was trying to see if I could just ear it. And I could. gonna be close. 
Oh, you know who I'm talking about? <laughs> Damn it, you're right. Yeah, I know. I was trying to think, like, do I have time to go and take a picture of a pirate? <laughs> I didn't want to give it away. <laughs> uh, all right, here, let's get I got the hood shot real quick. Oh, you can't get the seat. No! This game's trash! <laughs> I was gonna bring them, we were gonna be bros! It would've been the whole squad! Alright, is there anyone else I can bring then? Ah, I'm trying to think. Um, I don't think there's anyone else. Ah, uh, yeah, not that I can think of anyway. Ah, oh, damn it, dude! I was so ready to bring the seahorse! I bring a yeah, singular Zor egg? <laughs> that ain't worth it. If it's not the seahorse, I don't care. All right. How many eggs are there anyway? I'm throwing like nine or something. <clears throat> so it's not even, you can't even possibly bring all nine eggs. Whatever. We're missing one, uh, one Avenger, but that's fine. I mean, I guess we could really bring one Zora egg if we if we really wanted to, just to substitute the seahorse. But it's not the same, dude. I wanted to bring the seahorse pro <laughs> to the final boss. I could just bring a random fish. That's also possible. Gargantuan mass fish, Georg. This fight is so bad, dude. To get the soul stone. <laughs> uh, where is he? There he is. I miss. I cannot believe I miss. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Quickly swim! No! Can you please unlock Link? Get up there! Yeah, you don't even need to use light arrows. For the sake of the seahorse, I will try my best. Ow. <sighs> Where is he? There he is. Yeah, the light arrows don't even do any extra damage. It's just a waste of time. I should be putting on the mask before diving down, but whatever. Oh my gosh, Link! Oh, I hate him. I hate him. Gior can hear all the shit I want to talk because he, he, I don't care how much he beats me, he's still a garbage fight. <laughs> it's a waste of my time and everyone else's. Alright, I'll put on the mask this first this time. Where is he? There he is. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. I hate that you can only hit him once too, it's so lame. Oh my gosh, why can't I dolphin jump anymore? That's right. <laughs> Trying to eat me again. Get out of here. Oh god. We're right out of time, bros! <laughs> I don't know if we can kill Twin Mold in time. Actually, Twin Mold would probably be pretty easy. It depends how long it takes to kill Georg here. Because Twin Mold, we have, like, the Great Fairy Sword. But, uh, no, but it's entering the Stone Tower. That's going to take forever. By comparison, anyway. Uh... What the... Why, why did I hit him? Uh, where are you? 
I hate my life, I hate my life, I hate my life, I hate my life. Please die. Thank you. Uh, do we have time for Twin Mold? I hope we do. I think we should, maybe. If I'm really, really fast, I think we should have enough time for Twin Mold. I suck. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Ah, that, that flash of white nearly blinded me. <laughs> you both just said the exact same thing, except, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except, like, phrased differently at the same time. And both of them are accurate, I believe. So, you know what? We'll do that. All right. Uh, let's see here. Break out the song. Let's see here. Go to Stone Tower. Luckily, he, this, since I have the Stone Mask and Infinite... Magic, and as well the Great Fairy Sword, uh, this should die relatively quickly. So I should barely have enough time. Um, is this... No, this doesn't. Which one opens up the middle one? Uh, is it this one? Yes, it is. Okay, good, good, good. Is it... I forgot how the LGFMD just goes, damn it. Uh, right, left, right, down, right, up, left. That's not it. <laughs> it's... Damn it. <laughs> right, left, right, down, right, up, left... Right, left, right, down, right, up, left. There we go, jeez. Go, Spartan, go, 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 go. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Ah, fudge. Let's see if I can't get a clear shot. I don't know if I can, Bruce. No, maybe if I just a little bit higher. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I'm wasting time. Oh damn it! All right, fine. What's the, what? What one moves the other one? All right. Are you? F <laughs> uh. God damn it, fine. <laughs> oh, the claw shot thing, brilliant! Ah ha ha Yes! Truly really the savior of this run. All right. Uh, it's preemptively... Man, I wish we had that seahorse with us. Oh well. Uh, okay. Uh, do this, and we're gonna need also this. Oh, oh, go roll, Link, roll! Go, go, go! You'll shot! Do it for Seahorse! The one left behind. Ah. Where even are we with this fight? Like, 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 in relation to the Stone Tower Temple, what is this place? You know what I mean? So put on my lore pad again. Actually, don't probably have any lore for this. It's just, it's just a giant reused boss from the Vassal Games. 
Oh, what? You can't actually use the, uh, the Great Fairy Sword? Lame. Oh my god, just let me hit you. Oh my gosh, this fight is balls. It's still somehow better than it is in the 3DS remake, but that's not saying much. I'm mashing buttons! Oh lord, I'm mashing! Faces get damaged too, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> Why won't you die, Aaron? I only got four hours left. All right, one's dead. <laughs> Where are you? Hi. All right, sick. <laughs> we did it. We saved all of the separate worlds of Termina. Ikana Valley, uh, Snow Mountain, Woodfall. Uh, Great Bay. That's <laughs> what sounds like. What's the last one? <laughs> all right, let's, let's go back to Small Link. And finally, end this game. Time for one of my favorite areas, at least visually, in any game I've ever played. Not a kind of valley yet. <laughs> when we get to the final area. I cannot believe we did that in time. All right, here we go. Da -da -da. All right, how much time do I have left? Four hours? All right, perfect timing. That means I have time to do one last thing. Uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Where's my bunny hood? There, there she blows. All right, we're recruiting one last Avenger in honor of the seahorse who couldn't make it. What do you mean I can't recruit the fish here? The fish? Oh, wait, here, there it is. <sighs> Come on, please. <laughs> Maybe Adult Link can do it. I mean, uh, uh, Zora Link. See here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, it's just. No! I was gonna take this fish with me! No, it was never meant to be, bros! <laughs> ah, more! Oh well. Some things are never meant to be. <clears throat> I could do that, yeah. Where even is she on the final day? I don't even know. Oh, there she is. I have to go Deku for this. Uh... 
<laughs> hey, there's at least... I know for a fact there's one really Kino one on there, at least. Uh, oh. Alright, let's go to North Clock Town and revive the Great Fairy, I guess. I don't think you can put that in a bottle, can't you? True, there is, but I, I do have time to get there, I guess. Wait, can I bottle one of these? Is that what you were saying, Luke? If so, I've just made a grave mistake. I thought you just wanted me to get this for the sake of uh, <laughs> um, uh, getting a full health, but... It's gotta be something else I can get, maybe. Oh, just- oh, well, too late. <laughs> just keep it on me. <laughs> ah, if it's on a bottle, I can't I get that satisfaction from knowing it's trapped. That's okay. I know what to do. 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 I don't know what to do. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I could go get a fish. You know what? A fish isn't too special, though. You know what I mean? I think these are the three heroes. You know, they, these these are the heroes we're, we're gonna save to save to save the world with. I think. We've de we've delayed this enough. <laughs> Break out the ocarina. Da, 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 da. Exactly, the Triforce. Deku Princess, King of Ghosts, and Fairy. <laughs> Sis! Tail! Interesting, she doesn't warn him about getting hit this time. Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. That's it. I won't let things go the way you expect them to. Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it! Oh, we're gonna try, alright. Alright, so the oofed order, how's it go again? <laughs> right, right down a... down, right up. Time for a baller cutscene. One that in its entirety plays in the background of a melee stage. Oh, they're yelling! sounds are so cool. I don't know what sound designer came up with that, but it's so like distinct and interesting. I love it. Oh, Lord, here they come. Bear witness to their girth. This song is so good, dude. Are you seriously trying to push up a moon by yourself? Nah, I'm with my boys!
I think I did in a previous stream show off what happens if you try to play the song when you don't have enough giants and they just fail. But it's so cool to watch them actually succeed like this. It's just like so weirdly cathartic. They're hover handing the moon. <laughs> Social distance. <laughs> Got him. Nice, uh, nice, nice of you. It, it stopped. We did it! It stopped! Sis! Tail! Good, we made it in time. The giant's call worked on the Skull Kid. Hey, Skull Kid, do you realize what you've been doing to everyone? Wait, sis, don't. Don't be so hard on the Skull Kid. Tail, why are you protecting him? Aren't you mad at him for hitting you so much? He was lonely, the Skull Kid. He was trying to destroy everything around him. That is not the same as lonely child. We can't allow that. The power of the mask made him do it. It was too much for the Skull Kid to handle. If it's because he don't know... It's because he doesn't know his place on top of having to... Uh, weak will and no strength of heart. He's a fool. Certainly. He had far too many weaknesses to use my power. Yeah, that's right! Admit your stupidity! Huh? <laughs> a puppet can no longer be used and is mere garbage. I don't really know what kind of voice you would ever give Majora. It's kind of weird to even think of it having like a human-like voice. This puppet's role has just ended. It can't be. Then that moon? Oh lord, it's going! Oh no. I, I shall consume. Consume, consume everything. Nom, 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 nom. That's why he's got the big chompers. Wow, this isn't good. Let's go back. Let's go back. Hurry, the son of time, the son of time. Unless. Oh, no, you've got to be kidding. Don't tell me you're going up there. I won't do it. You go by yourself. I'm staying here with Tail. I'll go. It would have actually been really cool if you got both fairies for the sequence, but whatever. What? What are you saying, Tail? Is something wrong with you? I don't always want to be running away. If I only had been stronger, the Skull Kid wouldn't have... I understand. I'll go. After all this time, Tail, you've gotten really stubborn, just like someone else I know. You know, you guys are really stupid. <laughs> Based. Whoa! Look at that, a character arc. Oh. Holy shit, dude, this is so fucking cool. Like, like, pretend you know nothing about the game. Did you ever, in a million years, think that the inside of the moon would look like this shit? <laughs> it's so cool! <laughs> All right. <clears throat> no music, just birds chirping, you know? Some butterflies, a giant tree, an empty field, and children playing? Wearing the masks of the remains of the people we've destroyed? Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Masks, you have a lot. You, too. Will you be a mask salesman? You, too. So... Yeah, if you can't tell, those are small mask salesmen, aren't they? Then I'll play with you. So, the masks. Give me some. Okay. Uh, how about that, that, and that? More. 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 <laughs> Alright. Uh, this... That, and this. Thanks, you're... you're a nice person, aren't you? 
Hide and seek. Let's play. All right, I'll hide. Oh, man. Oh, I don't want to say too much yet because, like, um, I don't want to give away, like, my thoughts on, like, what the mass salesman is yet, right? Because, honestly, it's not even that interesting, my thoughts. Yeah, I guess I'll just say it. So, like, the mass salesman, right? He seems to be aware of pretty much everything, right? And he seems to have some connection to Majora and, and all the masks in the game, right? So, the fact that there's, like, representations of, like, a childhood him... It gives you, like, makes you think, like, it, how... <laughs> Freeman mask. I, I know. Um, how close... How, how, like, different or how, like, close are Majora and the mask salesman, right? Because, like... Well, like, you'll see what happens at the ending, but... Oh, we can read this. Uh, let's see here. Try to save the, uh, mask of truth for last because there's going to be one of these in all of them. But its words are heard in secret. It seems that the one cursed by the strange, sparkling gold spiders had the mask of truth. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> it was useless. Hey! It's one of these guys. Ah. Is it the same guy, actually, now that I think about it? That's the Garo Master. You can't fight him like an ordinary Garo. Yeah, so it is the same master. How does he get around so much? All right. All right, fella. All right, buddy. Let me break out my shield. Whoa! He's spinning. Oh, I interrupted him. I can just do this then, right? Yeah, nice. Hell yeah. Gotta use our hook shot to get up there. There are a couple of like secrets in this uh in these sections as well, I think, but I don't think any of them are like too like not obvious, if I remember correctly anyway. Like, I think isn't there like a I feel like in like one of these rooms there's like something that's like bombable, but it should be obvious when it's there. This also just tells you where another mask is, right? Madame Aroma had a cafe's mask. Yeah, like, um, so if you're missing any masks before you enter this area, these tell you uh, any mask you might be missing. But obviously, I have them all, so. <laughs> Hello. Oh! <laughs> That's funny. He can't actually hit me because of my hitbox when I'm crouching. That's funny. I never, I never knew about that. Bomb chew! Yeah, they give you a bomb chew here because there's something that's bombable, right? Uh, there it is! Kind of hard to get, though. I think what you're supposed to do is do this and this. So you set it down, like, yeah, like you're on this line. Uh, I missed. <laughs> uh, let's try it again. I think, that's, I think it's just a hard piece that's up here, right? Or actually, no, I think you're supposed to just time it and like hold on to it. But I wanted to do it the cool way. Yeah, that was way too long. Your bomb shoe can suck my nodes. Ah, I missed. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll just, we'll just hold on to it. So, one, two, three, four. There we go. That should do it. Ah, that was too early. That was too long. One, two, three. That should do. Nice. Ta da! So, what does this do? I think it just reveals like a chest or something, right? Oh no, just. Okay. <laughs> oh, right, because you can't get out of here otherwise. Duh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do, was hit him with the lock on, but the lock on kept going away for some reason. Yeah, here's the piece of heart. Ta da! I don't think we're gonna get um, another heart container, right? No. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I think the explodable part yeah, is on the top now. So I'll just do this. Uh, 
One, two, three. Ah, that worked out. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh. Ah! I should have talked to Tingle one more time. If I could have bottled up Tingle, I would have. I should have taken a picture of Tingle! Taking him back to Seria, I've been like, yo, look at this. This is very intimidating for some reason, this room. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. You slut. Uh, here, take this abomination off my hands. Uh, you can also take this thing and this thing. Oh, really? I didn't know about that. More. 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 Why do you want more? Damn! Uh, here, have uh, the ketone mask. <laughs> Thanks, you're nice. Hey, um, can I ask you a question? Your true face, what kind of face is it? I wonder, that face under the mask, is that... Your true face? Hmm. <laughs> oh, really interesting. Huh. Must have been like a fail stick that they put in just in case. Alright, so that's one child down. As you imagine, there's a child for every single boss that you faced. So, next, let's talk to Goat's Mask here. Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Mass, you have a lot. You too will be a mass salesman? Alright, so let's give him cafe, this thing. More. Now, I actually talked to the... Since I talked to Twin Mold uh, last, I, he wanted eight masks, but not all of them want that amount. <laughs> so it's not like I'm running out of masks here or anything like that. See, he this one only wanted two. Hide and seek. Let's play. Alright, I'll hide. It'll ask for like another two at the end, I think. Oh, right, this. Okay. So, uh, it's time for some Goron rolling, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna... I hope... I suck at Goron rolling so much in precise locations like this, so hopefully this isn't too hard for me. Uh, there we go. It's the, definitely the funnest one, absolutely, but it's also really hard. I find, anyway. There we go. Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Huh? Huh? I'm just letting go of the analog stick and it should be able to just do it. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, we're, we're good. No! Yes! Uh -huh. Huh? Eh. Oh, no, that was probably too much of an angle. Oh, no, we're, we're good. Yosha! Nice! Made it. Da, 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 da. All right, nailed it. <clears throat> now we go this way, straight ahead, right? All right, make sure we get a head start. All right, Jesus, take the wheel. Let's go straight ahead, just go straight ahead. I just go back? <laughs> Damn it. I went right back to where I was. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I guess I took a, a, a wrong turn somewhere, right? Oh, no. No! Yeah, I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. I got the heart piece, but that was like the optional thing. I, oh, I was probably just uh, just keep going to the right or something? I'm, I'm an idiot, I think. Hang on. <laughs> Let Jesus take the wheel again. I, I first tried that, man. Gosh darn it. Wait, is it maybe something to do with this? Yeah, can't I, like, go here and then, like, uh... Oh, no! <laughs>
You have to stop after that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm at too much of an angle. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're safe? No, we're not. <laughs> Damn it! I had it, dude, and I just gave it up for nothing. Dame, Dame. <laughs> what a fool I've been. <laughs> oh, well. Should be in the clear now, I think. Actually, am I going to hit this chest? Barely. Okay. Tight, 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 tight. Okay, 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 okay. Just subtle taps. Subtle little love taps of the analog stick. That's all we need. Should be in the clear. Hell yeah, brother. All right, so here's the heart piece and wooden bridge. Uh, I see no such thing. Oh, right now you stop right there, is it? Right? Like, you cross over here, and then you go across the wooden bridge, right? Is that how it works? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. It's all coming back. Eventually. <laughs> back to the basics. Yeah, it's over there. There it is. Alright, so hopefully we make the jump. Yosha! Nice. Hey, man. Well, that was relatively easy. Uh, let's get rid of uh, the stone mask and... Oh, I really like the captain's hat. Oh, well. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Here you go. More. <laughs> Okie dokes. <laughs> Thanks, you're nice. Um, can I ask a question? You, what makes you happy? I wonder, what makes you happy? Does it make others happy too? <clears throat> Alright. Next. Should be only two more left. Ah, uh, hey, Georg. Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Mass, you have a lot, too. You too. Will you be a mass salesman? Then I'll play with you. So the mass gives me some. Okie dokes. Uh, I will give you the frog, the blast. More. I think he's going to ask for three, right? More. Uh, you have this man as well. Thanks. You, you're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek. Let's play. All right, so this one, as you can tell from the theme, and I was going to require that you use the <clears throat> require that you use the Zora mask. So, which means it's going to require some swimming. Swimming. Getting the heart piece for this area is a bit tricky. Um, it just requires that you um, basically it's, it's like an infinite tunnel unless you take the right turns, right? And I honestly forget the path you're supposed to take. Oh yeah, you're right, banner alert. Here, maybe this uh this statue will tell us if we're going the right way or not. The mystical stone responds to the mask, but his words are in her in secret. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just telling us more about more masks we could get. <clears throat> it's pretty it's pretty easy to uh trial and error at least. Like yeah, that was wrong, obviously. Uh let's see here. I think it is only 3DS. I don't think there's any fish to follow in the original version. Let's go left this time. Left again. Uh, it's just another. Oh, there's a heart piece right there! No! <laughs> go back! <laughs> nice! <laughs> that worked out. Da, 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 da. We might actually finish this with 19 hearts. 
that was the wrong way though. <laughs> so uh, let's see what let's see if we can figure out what the right way is. Once you figure out the right way, that's basically the whole area though. Uh, let's try right, left, then right, and then left. Oh, I guess it's right. Oh, that was it. I think it had like those gold rings around it. I think that means that was right. Might be wrong though. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> Alright, let's try right, left, and then left. Actually, it wasn't right, left, and left, the hard piece. Let's try left, right, and then right. 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 Uh, I think this takes us back here. So it should be left, left, right then, maybe? Hmm. Alright, let's try left, left, right. I'm not sure what the point of this is. It really is just a guessing game. <laughs> left. Left. Right. Left. I think this is what the hard piece was, right? Yeah, it was. Okay. So that wasn't right. So let's just try left, 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 and then right. My Sora intuition. Let me tell you, it's that of a dead fish. It's about as much intuition as this. By the way, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Still chilling? Alright, good. Just checking in on the crew, you know. Let's try left. Uh, left. Then left. And then we'll hit them with the fat right. Actually, no, this is just all left now. Is it really just all left? I don't think this is right. Surely it's not. We're gonna be here for a while, boys! <laughs> um, so we did all left that time. Now let's try adding a right in at the end. So left, left, right! Uh, left? No, wait, no, no, this goes back to that one. How much do we bet it's left, left, right, right? This is the hard piece one. Okay, let's just try left, left, right, right then. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure you get to sleep tonight soon, I promise. <laughs> no, shit, I didn't mean to go right there. Actually, yeah, let's, just, let's just go left a couple times then. No! Uh, uh, I didn't mean to go right twice. There we go. Guys, I'm starting to think like I'm an idiot or something. But how could that be? I'm the greatest streamer to ever live. <laughs> it's not possible. Damn it. I went right there twice by accident. Uh, let's try... Left. Uh, left. And there should be a right one up here. Where's... There's three choices in there. There's one right at the beginning, and then there's one in the middle, and then there's one at the end. But, hmm. <laughs> Why am I taking so long with this? I feel like a fool. There should be like three exits. Uh, so, left, left, and then right. But isn't this, doesn't this just lead to... Uh... Yeah, this leads to the same place as this one. Oh, shoot. When you reach in the middle, there's a choice. So when we get to that middle choice, let's try going right, I guess, right? Okay, yeah, I understand now. There's less choices if you just go to the, uh, so on the right side, there's only, if you just go stay right, there's only one other path. If it's, and the same with the left side. But if you go through the middle, there's an extra choice, I understand. Okay, so let's try going left twice. No, 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 are you kidding me? All right, we have to go left here. <laughs> and then uh, straight ahead, fudge. No, maybe this is right. Ah, oh, thank God! <laughs> the game was just trying to guide my hips. That mask, take it off. Oh, sorry, jeez. Uh, you found me. Hey, I want more masks. 
more. More. Heh, <laughs> thanks, you're nice. Um, can I ask a question? The right thing, what is it? I wonder, if you do the right thing, does it really make everybody happy? That depends. <laughs> Alright. As you can see, we only have uh, two mat two non-transformation masks left. And we saved what should be the easiest one for last. Uh, but I have... I remember it actually being the hardest for some reason. Maybe I'm misremembering. Because the last time I played this was a couple years ago. We'll see. Okola's remains. Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Yes, you want to be a salesman too. Blah, 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 blah. Here you go. I really hate to give away this bunny hood. That's the way it's gotta be. Hide and seek. Wait, why did I just give him the mask of truth? I'm an idiot. <laughs> Whatever. We don't really need the any of the tr uh, non-transformation masks mask for this bit anyway. As you can see here. It's all timing on Deku flowers. And it's really hard for me for some reason. Uh, let's wait till it comes around. At least I remember it being hard. Maybe it's not actually hard at all. I'm just misremembering. Or just thinking how my childhood brain thought it was hard, even though it wasn't. So we have to make sure we land on that golden flower right there, by the way. So to make that easier, we're just going to go to this one. The stone is just going to say uh, where more masks are, so it's not really worth it. Alright, so we want to make sure we land on this golden flower. The golden boy. Go, go, Deku, go, 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 go. Go under! <laughs> that was close. Hey, and there's a heart piece right there. We'll go get that. One, from three, two, one! This should give us a 19th heart, right? So I was only missing four pieces on the outside. Hey, nice. If I was a real baller, I would have gotten those last couple of heart pieces. What, what were the last ones I was missing? Uh... I honestly forget. I'll look it up later. I know one of them was from... Oh, hang on. Wait, I can't actually make it uh, with just this one from here, can I? I think I have to actually land on the one in the middle here. Also, this isn't nearly as hard as I remember it being, by the way. <laughs> I remember this being significantly harder than it actually was. Wow, did I... Oh, can we make it, actually? Oh, I don't think we can, bros. I don't think we can. Nah. Oh, it puts me all the way back in the beginning? That's cringe. Ah, whatever. Huh? Almost at the end, bros. Do, 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 do. Uh, here it comes. Oh, get under! That was close. Ah! Hey, Bukwini. Just in time for the finale. Jump! Nice. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Excellent. That should be it, I think, right? Or unless there's a harder part. Nope. Take that mask off. They don't really... He does not like these masks. It's interesting. How'd I start streaming? Uh, I was bored. <laughs> Um, um, I, I, I think what really did it for me, uh, recently, because I streamed a, a bunch in the past, but, like, it, it was never consistent. Uh, what made me consistently do it, um, was uh, when I started watching some VTubers, they felt, I hadn't seen, I had kind of, like, stopped liking games for a while. Not, not, not like, stopped liking them, I still played them a lot, but, like, I didn't, like, have the same, like, genuine joy and passion that I used to and I watched some VTubers play some games it was like such a like a childlike joy that they exhibited it made me kind of want to like capture that you know like I'm almost like jealous of it and then when I started streaming I was like yeah this is fun <laughs> this is what I like doing you know and it makes me appreciate some of my games that I love even more so yeah that's why I think Ta -da! thanks you're nice um can I ask a question your friends, what kind of people are they? I wonder, do those people think of you as a friend? I'd like to think so. <laughs> and just like that, that is every single mask. It is pretty poggers. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Streaming is my little pog champ. <laughs> Alright, it's time. Hope everyone's sufficiently pogged. <laughs> it is time for the finale of Majora's Masks. One of my favorite games of all time. And the finale of, I think, my, of me completing my first ever, not even just Let's Play as a VTuber, but just Let's Play in general. Because we, I have done some in the past, but I don't think I've ever completed them before now, so... Let's finally talk to Majora here and see, what, see what's up. Everyone has gone away, haven't they? Will you play with me? Yeah. You don't have any masks left, do you? Well, let's do something else. Let's play good guys against bad guys. Yes, let's play that. You got the fierce deity's mask. Could this be could this mask's dark powers be as bad as Majora? Try it with C. So it's interesting that it makes reference. It says that it, again, it's it's never it's just like an un like a random narrator who's making these questions supposedly or or I guess it's supposed to be Link. But yeah, supposedly this mask has as much dark power as Majora. Dark power, you know, not good power. And it's a fierce deity, which means it has like um anger related to it and it clearly does not like majora and majora is not good either so what's the connection right um i think the manga goes into some lore of of the fierce deity right doesn't it uh, i haven't actually read the manga uh i i actually I, I think i read a couple pages of it but there is some i think canon lore about that and the stone tower in, in that manga i really should give it a read after this actually anyway yeah this is what you get for collecting every single mask and it completely uh, trivializes the entire fight. <laughs> Are you ready? You're the bad guy, and when you're bad, you just run. That's fine, right? Well, shall we play? As you can see, this is the, uh, oh, the effect. Like, the weird, like, almost, like, nausea-inducing effect in this room, dude. So, this is the final spot. Uh, for that final mask, the Fierce Deity Mask. Beats up the mask salesman as the deity or just threatens him. So when you put on this mask... <laughs> you're as close to his Dolt Link as you're ever gonna get, and your sword gets replaced with this Spiral Sword. There's actually, like, a, a name for it. No. You actually have, like, a Dolt Link's voice, too. And you can shoot sword beams! I'm not gonna try to kill it too fast because I want you guys to ex experience how weird Majora's forms are. But yeah, this whole sequence is really cool visually. Zelda! Hello! Majora's Mask. Just in time for the final boss. So yeah, you can just completely trivialize this. Oh, look at Link hopping. <laughs> look at him go. By uh, shooting him. But let's hear what Tattle has to say. Remember your battles when something resistant would deflect your weapons. What was its backside usually like? So yeah, if we can get behind his backside, I think that's where his weakness is supposed to be. Whoa! Whoa! He like spins around like that. And the music is just like the same music that you hear at the beginning of the game. Yeah, you have to, you're supposed to hit him in the backside with like light, uh, like light beams or something like that. But since you have the fierce deities mask, you can just shoot these at them and it hurts them. Oh, now the other masks are getting mad. Let's bully them. Yeah, I think they all die in one hit to the fierce deity. Yep. <laughs> it's that easy. Oh, just go left. Ah! Oh, you actually don't even take any damage as the Fierce Deity, either! <laughs> Alright, let's bully him. You can actually do, like, a jumping attack and stuff like that, too, but... You, know, you can just easily, easily do this. Ta-da! We can only hope. Here is Phase 2. This one's a bit wacky. Majora's Incarnation. Uh. 
Remember your battles. Uh, when you fought the thing that ran around you, didn't you battle it using your own body? <laughs> Look at him go! What a unit! The, and he's just kind of whining on the floor like a child now, too. <laughs> oh, he's moonwalking! Oh, get it? On the moon! <laughs> Alright, get out of here. <laughs> I love that you're, like, tripping him over and falling him like a ch uh, making him fall like a child. <laughs> and now he's grown up. Majora's Wrath. So, as you can see here, think about the battles and think about battles and weapons. When you had the chance before an enemy was about to attack, didn't you usually try shooting it? So, as you can tell, uh, this seems to be like Majora like completed or like its true form. It's the closest thing it gets to it, and it seems to be a woman based on its sounds and like its like figure, which is interesting. Um, I guess it's not really that interesting, but it's, it's, it's interesting to know compared to, like, what you would normally think, right? Anyway, isn't this, like, a whole, like, setting really cool? You're playing as, like, this weird, like, you're wearing, like, this ultimate mask fighting against this ultimate, uh, other mask. It's just so cool, dude. I love this game. Get out of here! Huh! I think it actually has an attack where it can, like, whoa! It's going nuts! Where it can, like, wrap you around and then, like, um, throw something at you. Oh, it's taunting me! Look at him! <laughs> Alright, buddy. Whoa! Going for the jump attack. And that's it. For a seahorse. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have really got that final hit if the Deku Princess was in my back pocket, honestly. <laughs> ah, my eyes! Goodbye, moon. I'll see you next year. Yeah! Rainbow! How do you say pretty again in Japanese? It's like, uh, uh, something like that. Just like that, everyone had a universal pog. Dawn of a new day. Hell yeah, dude. That's such an effective title card. Strong. Yes. <laughs> ah, he's awake. There's our little skull kid we remember from Ocarina. The designs of these guys are so cool. You guys, you hadn't forgotten about me? You still thought of me as a friend? So if you remember, there was this one scene where the when we saved one of the giants it said, help our friend, right? And they thought they were, uh, it, it's easy to assume that they're referring to the other giants, but they weren't. They were referring to Skull Kid. Oh, hey, Pona, what's up? <laughs> I forgot you were here for a second. He kind of just keeps his head down in shame, but he's still like crying because he's actually still happy as well that they thought of him as a friend after all this time.
GG. <laughs> thank, thank you, Luke. <laughs> Have a good night, man. Did you... Did you save me? I thought they didn't want to be friends with me. But they hadn't forgotten about me. Friends are a nice thing to have. <laughs> Could you be my friend too? <laughs> like how the opponent backs up like, whoa. <laughs> you have the same smell as the fairy kid who taught me that saw in the woods. That he is referring to uh, in Ocarina of Time where you teach the Skull Kid a song. So this confirms it is the same Skull Kid. Because we are the same fairy kid. I know, I know. Let's do something. Oh. Oh, so the evil has left the mask after all. It's gone? So it's just a worthless mask now, yeah? Well, now I finally have it back. Since I am in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever or merely for a short time, that is up to you. Well said, mass salesman. With that, please excuse me. But my, you sure have managed to make quite a number of people happy. The masks you have are filled with happiness. This is truly a good happiness. As opposed to a bad happiness. So pay attention to this, by the way. He just disappears. <laughs> what was he? Well, both of us have gotten what we were after, so this is where you and I part ways, isn't it? You know, it was kind of fun. Well, it's almost time for the carnival to begin. So, why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. What the hell, Tattle? Let me come! <laughs> yeah, whatever. You're lucky Link is so understanding. He has a friend to go find too, right? Still looking for Navi. Billy! I forgot I named him that! <laughs> it kind of left my mind. Thank you. And just like that, Link is gone. Producer slash supervisor, Shigeru Miyamoto. And now you get to uh, bear witness to all of the happiness that has now returned to, return to Clock Town thanks to us saving the area. So even if you didn't, I, I think they show like scenes of, yeah, so like this uh, uh, band still happens anyway, even though that's Zora Link. So I guess we did show up to the carnival in secret, right? <laughs> though I think Tattle will recognize us, wouldn't he? The credits here are amazing, yes. Yeah, because that's us in the band, so maybe we performed the band real quick before we left. <laughs> and luckily, um, all of like the like side quests that you could have done, uh, these credits, and I think as long as you do them, even if maybe even if you don't do them, they're implied to have been solved anyway. Because by defeating the evil that Majora's Mask was spreading, all of the problems that it caused are also retroactively undone. Oh, the pirates are up to shenanigans. <laughs> what a setting, man. What a game. What, like, I know. There's nothing quite as cool as Termino to me. You know what I mean? There were, like, every single... It's so dense. It's filled with so many characters and, like, visuals. But all of it feels so worthwhile in its own right. I hope that's not the case. <laughs> El, El, El Chavo. Um, yeah, it's just... Oh man, there's at least these guys too still bickering. The Econa Kingdom guys. See, look! She guess, I guess she made it out of our bottle. <laughs> that group princess, one of, the, one of the three Avengers there at the end. Oh man. Like, the only mate... The, uh... 
on oh, this <laughs> he's running back to town <laughs> so yeah, yeah like so like yeah he's implied to have uh, been saved all everything is implied to have been saved even if you don't do everything in that one final run it is very satisfying to do that though um and I still recommend that you give it a try if you ever want to if you want to like just do one last uh final cycle where you just uh complete every single side quest that you can it is really satisfying to do so oh there's the great fairies yuck <laughs> enemy designer so Toro Ta takizawa hey i like this part bam 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 nice <laughs> Zelda games always have really good credit sequences, mind you. But like this one, oh, that's so sweet. It's the palm guy and his, and his grandma. But like this one, like every single, this is the only Zelda game I think, at least where like all the side quests are like so distinctly memorable and all the characters within them are so clearly materialized and realized. That's just like, man, when you get that overview of them, it's just, oh. Ah, uh, look, we've disappeared. <laughs> hey. Got to have your carnival after all, mister. <laughs> Why is the blacksmith here? <laughs> oh, he's playing his Song of Storms tune. Oh yeah, the father and daughter. Hey, you, got, you can leave that town now, I think, yeah? Should be one last thing. Hey, we can't forget about the, 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 the couple, can we? Andrew's wedding dress is gorgeous, by the way. Also, I just realized, is that supposed to be see-through? That's lewd as hell. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's crazy. I wish there's concept art for that wedding dress. That'd be cool. <laughs> Tingle, of course. Manu Man Manabu Mike Fukuda. Fukuda. Who the hell is Manabu Mike? <laughs> you may have forgotten about one thing, though. So we never got an answer for what happened to the ma the because we got the mask from the Goron from Darmani and we got the mask of the Zora from uh, Macau. But where did we get the Deku mask from? As it turns out, it, it, we he was reminded of the child, um, the Deku uh, Butler. He we reminded him of his child because that was his child, and that's where we got the mask from too. So a little sad note to end on there, yeah. <laughs> Kind of throws a damper on the otherwise good vibes, but, you know, Melancholy is the name of this game's name. I mean, the name of this game. But. Plus, here's a nice cute little note to end on to offset that, right? Wait for it. What song do we teach him in Ocarina? Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Amazing. What an amazing game. What an amazing time was had playing this game. I loved every single blessed second of it. I I <laughs> I can't stress enough how much I love this game and how much I love all of you for being uh, there to witness me play through it again. I highly recommend this game through whatever means that you can play it, whether it's the 3DS remake or the original. Uh, it's fantastic regardless. Uh, it is one of my favorite games of all time. And after playing it for a year, 
it still is or like years later rather it still is one of my favorite games of all time if not my favorite game of all time thank you everyone for coming let's get ourselves a nice little snapshot here actually one second i want to see if i can't uh da, da, da. and then da, da, da. let's see here get rid of this doot doot and then sorry chat it's gonna make you invisible for one second uh let's see here there we go now let's get me <laughs> uh let's see here uh put myself right i you know, i have link hold me there we go look at that like he's holding a little pot look at that yeah <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> yeah Thank you, everyone, for watching my favorite game of all time. I very, very much appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful night and that you all stay safe. And God bless. I'll see you guys for more Yakuza and whatever else I decide to play. <laughs> have a great one, everyone. See ya. One second. Bye-bye. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Shana.